camera. Thank you. You and said so, no YouTube? It's uh <laughs> <laughs> You can keep it on. Yeah, yeah, because we rolling. We rolling right now, so how this is a take, hostage situation. How you going to take my wand? I got her at wand point. I understand, Gru. I'm broke. You don't want to see this boy. nigga levitate. This way? I levitate on these hoes. Guardian levy yourself, bitch. Happy Halloween. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you just say? Lingardia Leviosa. <laughs> it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Oh, I didn't know that. <sighs> what are Happy they, Halloween. What do they call humans? Mug it? Uh, well, muggles. muggles, muggles, mugget is hilarious. <laughs> mugget, I'm stealing that and I'm putting that in my version. Hey man, do it. <laughs> All right, so oh, we live. Wow. Uh, if you go to our yeah, YouTube man, page, because uh, he's saying everything. He's saying the um, stream yard is connected to the YouTube. I'm not in the I middle. can watch everything right now. So <laughs> pull up on us. Yep, it's live now. So I'm gonna be watching there. Me. Hippie's gonna be controlling the comments, so y'all go ahead and I'm tap still in. Patrick. We got 297 people in already. We gonna we gonna get higher than that. See so if y'all get off of here and go on there, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna, gonna be lit. Too. The mimosas, yeah, they're gonna be good. Oh, so yeah, we, yeah. I had it's hippie had got us some though. some what? prosecco to be, to be Patrick. Patrick. It's also but, niggas didn't have a costume. <laughs> <laughs> I had the shorts just because I had the shorts. I a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I had the bella. With, with with mimosas. Oh, so is this what all the IG people talk about? Maybe, maybe hopefully it won't uh Bel Air. No, oh, yeah, that's a city I know. Champagne uh, is. We got we got we gonna have some fun. Then we got some other vittles here as Fair well. Just to make just sure they go. Some vittles. You said what? <laughs> Raise it. I look but y'all join the uh the YouTube right now. Um, then we got some announcements for stuff that we're doing for the Patreon in the, uh, Whoa. In the future. So, you want to be part of that? You know how to do oh, that. Okay, I look tall now. Join the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. down. I was dipping. So, I as, in a minute. As Tahirian has said, damn internet, you scary. His YouTube is going live. Halloween. You got Lulu for the first hour. CP for the second. All conspiracies. Conspiracies. All conspiracies. That's kind of freaky. I was freaking myself out yesterday. Mm -hmm. dun, dun. Do you have scary and conspiracy music? Uh, for the for the opening? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do. Well, we will. We it's will. All, it's all freestyle. I'm so excited. This is really hard to put down. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cool. I know. And you haven't even really tried cool. it in the park when it actually works. Works. I tried it in the park. I'm gonna show you. Wait yeah. till. You don't even. It works in the park. You could do magic in the park. I don't get it. I'm going to show you. Then you're going to get it. So when you step on the park, this thing turns on? In certain places, yeah. In certain places. It, it's like 12 places it works. What does that mean? It's I'm going to show you, Patrick. Oh, is right. it? it's electronic. Oh, you meant Universal Studios. The park. Okay. You know. What, did you, what, what park did you think I was talking about? The park. I Any you, park? I thought you meant a park. <laughs> you mean like you thought it was a real walk? <laughs> Who says, hey, I'm about to go to the park, and then you check and they're at Universal Studios. <laughs> the park! The theme park! There you go, theme. I, you needed the theme. If it doesn't have a theme, it's a regular-ass dog-walking park. <laughs> no, nah, man! I, I was doing you, magic at Universal! I thought you, you could just go to Runyon and this shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if, if that would have been crazy. I would be there every day! We outside? <laughs> We outside with it. All right, so we live, man. Let's get it going. All right. We're a little behind. We apologize, but we did hear that. Uh, man, I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. I didn't know. Oh, we were live live. Oh, we yeah. live live. And this <laughs> is another episode of Damn it and that you scary. Ow. Ow. And we got uh we got a special guest here for the first Woo. hour. Uh ladies and gentlemen, she's no stranger too. You seen her on all deaf digital. You seen it on her own platform. You seen it on Damn It and That's Too Scary Lunchtime Lottery. Mm -hmm. Please, you seen it in Desert Storm too. Uh <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to the show, Miss Lulu Gonzalez. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. And I'm I'm Hood Hogwarts, if y'all didn't figure that out. Listen, she got the she got the 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 whole cape and uh robe. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You got the whole outfit. Why be hood Hogwarts? Why not just be a nigga at Hogwarts? I am a, that's a nigga at Hogwarts. No, uh, everything got to be hood Hogwarts, hood this, hood that. Why can't you just be a regular ass Lulu? Look at <laughs> you. Got, you got everything. 
Now, if you just came in the scarf, I'd give you hood Hogwarts. This is everything. This, this is, is everything. Good. I, I got, didn't know they had backpacks. Nobody in Harry Potter had a backpack. Yes, they did. They were just always running to class. You ain't seen They it. had bags? Yes. Did y'all ever peep that Harry Potter was the only one that had glasses? Yeah, they did. Wait, that didn't for the professors? Did, didn't the professors? You mean the only no. student? <coughs> so everybody was like, I know magic. Why would I do it on my eyes? <laughs> <laughs> why, would you, why would you be a powerful wizard? There's a spell to fix spectacles. broken glasses. You Is know? there? Yeah, that's what Hermione does the first time she meets Harry. His glasses had tape in the middle because he was poor. And she was like, Ugh. right. And was that fixes. spell specifically to fix glasses or just to fix it? It's spell? a repair spell. So uh, she repaired the glasses. That'd be that'd be a fun school to go to. I'd be I a little know. Nice, be be, nice little it was like two little black kids in there, but that makes sense. It makes sense. It's you know, like magnet. <laughs> 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 they, were, they were busted with a flying bus from real, real far away. <laughs> All right, so how are we gonna do this? I feel like we gotta do the intro song with like one of the Iconic scary movies like Michael Myers <gasps> or Nightmare really? Elm Street, even goddamn me. Um, I just saw um, what was it? Unsolved Mysteries. Do you know I don't know that. Unsolved I Mysteries. I don't know that. That sounds so fun. That sounded like, so, da, 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 da. like <laughs> nah, that's, I don't want to solve no mysteries. <laughs> then it cuts, a little girl is missing. Like, God damn, I was dancing. <laughs> I was dancing. Was like, da, 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 da. <laughs> behind, oh, the Behind that, they got the. They got those sounds too, but I couldn't do all of that in the. the what, what's the X Files song? I don't know. Da, 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 da. No, um, that ain't, that's a uh, oh, that's Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone, yeah. Oh yeah, Twilight what is Zone. X X Files? X Files. Yeah. I don't know, but let's let's go with uh. Damn, what's Michael? I just saw Michael Meyer have Halloween Kills. What happened the... to Thriller? Why we can't do Thriller? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that just scares me. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do the trap. We did that one time before, but I think it's appropriate now because it's it's Halloween. That's scary. Trap Michael Myers. I actually have PTSD from that song. From the song? Oh, well, well, I'm going to make a trap, so it ain't going to be just like that. I'm okay, thank you. Yeah, wrap out you. your trauma. You. Thank you. Work through <laughs> it. <laughs> Turn your trauma into bars. All right, here we go. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Damn It and That You Scary. <laughs> nice. It's Halloween. Shit is scary. Bitch, what's that? Niggas want candy. Niggas want candy. Hey, look at my internet. Damn internet, I'm dandy. Hey, Twix, tricks, trick or treat, bitch. I found a razor blade in my bag. That shit was hella sad. Hey, look at me a mask on my face, killing white people. I need to go to church and pray at the steeple. Hey, here's a campsite. I'ma need my knife. <laughs> I've never seen one of those like half workout. <laughs> hey, verse two, motherfucker. Hey, lollipops came through with that shot. These are aggressive speakers. These are aggressive shakers. Goddamn. I'm the shaker, nigga. Main instrument. Okay. There's a breakdown. The breakdown is in the beginning. The shaker came through the mix like, hang on, kicks. Hang on, snares. Goddamn. This fucking shaker is aggressive as hell. <laughs> that shaker hey, grabbed me by the collar. Get, 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 get the shaker saw. Get the shaker saw. That shit slammed me against the lockers like oh, lizard. Oh, <laughs> oh, I couldn't get through it. I couldn't get through it. It was a little. Do 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 do. All right, let's stay with it. Everybody, steady. <laughs> Old hands. I never see one of those go all the way through. <laughs> I got to listen. My daughter showed me this video. The Patreon, no, I, I put it in a blog. And uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. Oh, man. I did it in a blog because this dude did it. I was like, yeah, this is dope. <laughs> and I've been looking for another reason to try it. Like, oh. you ask, it's like, hey, can you turn this shaker down a little bit? And they can look me dead in the face and went like this. <laughs> it's getting louder. Turn me up some more. <laughs> it's actually getting louder. <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need y'all to see. Longest fader ever. Where I got damn, Oh, my God. All right, so this, this dude did this right here. Oh, 
Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Oh, those are crazy. Da, 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 da. That's all I was like, out. yeah. Some good horns. So I say I could do that. Why? Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you actually already tried this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's the do 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 for me. <laughs> he got that shit. He got a, he got a nice like now porch voice. <laughs> not, not outside. <laughs> On the porch. You got a you got a nice, the, you got a nice bathroom voice. Like, <laughs> locked bathroom. Locked bathroom. <laughs> Empty house. <laughs> In the shower. Hey, all right, motherfuckers. That's enough. That's enough, goddammit! <laughs> but the joy in your face when you tried it, you were so happy! Oh, now you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> ah, man, I killed that shit. Fuck y'all, man. Oh, man. <laughs> that was a. Uh, we have any napkins? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta turn the arrow. We never turn the arrow. Shit. Oh, to hear is a meat boxer. <laughs> 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 Y'all ready, ready for this meat box? <laughs> Coincidentally, that's also what we call Pat's vagina. <laughs> Damn, that was better than mine. <laughs> that one was better. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I cannot hear it. All right. All right. So the first conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> he got a meat box. Oh, his dick oh, used to be. He got a meat box. Where is his dick used to be? <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shout out to Saint Angela's coming through, man. She she brought a little of the creamer, the coffee. Thank you. So oh my god. god. Oh my goodness. Oh, shit. I want everybody to look at my costume. I can't unhear it. Uh, I can't unhear it. Oh, uh, well. You can unhear it. It's not happening anymore, damn it. No, my goodness. <laughs> Meat box. God damn. It. That was <laughs> I brought that to the table. And it was thrown back at me. <laughs> <laughs> Boomerang that shit. <laughs> like, I threw it and it hit me at the same time. Blue caught it and threw it off the backboard. Oh, no, I got a beast box. Like, Where my dick is? Was man. that mine? <laughs> Who hit me? Which one of y'all niggas hit me? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yikes. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Well, happy Halloween, guys. I guess you guys got your fucking treat. <laughs> <laughs> Dom, they want you to join too. They want you to get in here. We hey, just we had just pull up. You don't want to do it. She said, uh, "Come on, up. Beetlejuice, pull up." We gotta He's say your uh, name three times. Beetlejuice. She had just changed the cameras. I'm sorry, man. Fuck, man. I'll <laughs> scoot. I'll scoot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, I'm like, it took so long to make that. I've never made coffee like that. Like, since, That's like, all good. Like, oh. years ago. All right. We'll slide over and like, make some room. Slide for them on down. over. Shout out to Don, man. Like, let me tell you something. It really takes a team and a village to get shit together. We're here in the studio. Amir came on his day off. Brennan came. Had to unlock it. Dom came to head, set, set up the uh, the the... The decor and uh, Hippie was supposed to make it, but she had some uh, family things she had to attend to. Lou was here. Dom came. She made coffee. She yeah. works for a luxury brand. She makes money. Who you and for? she came out here and helped us out, man, because everybody believes in the fucking dream. So it's, called Johnny it's, it's, a, it's a luxury boho chic brand. <laughs> you love it. It's close. It's close. What's up? We have some get we, What's we up? Got Go online and see if you like them. <laughs> yeah, they could be watching. There's some, there's some dope stuff. You are doing that... horrible marketing. Yeah, right? <laughs> it ain't luxury. Like, brand. <laughs> she said, it ain't luxury. You ain't going to like it. I don't, I don't know. Like I said, there, there are things. We are becoming a more youthful brand. Okay. Uh, so it's been around for about 30 years. But when I say boho, it's like really boho chic. So they're bringing like younger people in. That's not like, like hobo age. chic. Ho boho? I some ideas they that they need some. What is that? Bohemian girl. chic? Yeah, like Patrick. I'm what Bohemian I'm... chic. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah you kind of like a hipster. Like yoga yeah. pants. Yeah. I, I, we I do mean, have that. We I don't even know that. where Bohemia is. Where is it? You. 
Look Bohemia. in the mirror, nigga. I know. Turn around three times. Look in the mirror, nigga. <laughs> Where, where's Bo, Where's Bohemia? Next That's to tall, Jamaica. Is tall, it? Tall, okay. tall, yeah. tall, it. tall socks with sandals and Floyd, yeah. Floyd pants. That's you all day. <laughs> natural, me today. natural but chic. Yeah. Natural but like put yeah. together and like you know. What does chic mean? I like, it was like you don't, a nigga with you a don't sword. look dirty. You don't look like you look like you took time and put it together. But it also looks effortless. There you go. Okay. <laughs> You would not go side eye that. You would not go side eye that. I like the word effortless. That's how I do my doc. I like the word effortless. Well, yeah, man. Let's let's jump into this first thing. Uh, we we already got the we got the song out of the way. We got no ads today, so this is gonna be an ad free. Ad freezy. This is something special we're doing today. for everyone. I like, I got not just uh, no, not just no the Patreon today. on the show. Um, but Come if on, you want to join the Patreon, teach. you get some some extra shit too. Um, I've been on Pat's ass about sitting down and making this schedule, guys. We are really. Doing it, and next year we are doing the live show. So yeah, get ready for that because yeah, sales yeah, will yeah. go to uh, the Scary Squad first, and then um, it will be to everybody, General Public Lex. So yeah, should we toast? Yeah, we should toast. Happy Halloween! 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 Happy Oh shit, man! I stopped trick or treating probably when I moved. I moved out at fourteen, so I stopped trick or treating around there. Damn! Oh yeah, you grew up man. fast. Yeah, you yeah. can't you can't go you from White Castle your house working. to trick or treating. I was I was at White Castle. I was on White Castle working on Halloween. I was giving out thirty packs. <laughs> <laughs> fourteen is about the time you you stop, anyways. Because yeah. I remember going as like a like a young teenager, and I was like, this seems weird. It seems like it's over. Yeah. Like oh. I guess. I, I wrote that shit out to college. Excuse me? Yeah. You was going door to door? Yes. For why not? With no kids? She was out I was there. A kid. She was out there just, just breast first, yeah. getting whole bottles of liquor. Yeah. Though. <laughs> she was out there trick or treat. <laughs> That's like God. You got damn. your titties so out. Like, <laughs> let me take care of like Jack Daniels. So like I moved out here. I didn't buy them, but I like hit puberty at like 22. You did not. You yes, I, I did. No puberty at 22. Yes, I did. I got. You didn't have breasts in like high school. You didn't have no titties in high school. I didn't pull up. Kill off the footage. God damn it. Yeah. I was, like, so when did you get your period? I got my period. Oddly, seventh grade. My mom was in Morocco, and I was staying at my dad's house, and I was like freaking the fuck out. And then I told Janelle. Mm -hmm. She doesn't remember this part. And I, I was like, okay, well, I got my period. I know what happens. Like, I'm not fucking. I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to get pregnant. And she's like, if you don't tell mom, I'm gonna tell mom that you got your period. I'm like, why? It's my body. So yeah. <laughs> Do I, you guys find it kind of like, like a murder scene? You just kind of like wake up and you're like, ah! I was at school. Oh, I had Winnie the Pooh draws on when it happened. Damn, mm, damn! I had the they took, took the innocence <laughs> out of that. Yeah, damn, damn. I, it, I was having the worst day of That's my crazy. life, so it kind of felt like appropriate at the time. What was happening? I was auditioning for Laguardia for uh, for ballet, and I just got rejected. And damn. My, damn! And my dad was picking me up. I don't. My dad never picks me up in situations like this. It would always be my mom. Mm. And my dad picked me up, and I was like, so I was crying all day, all day. Like we're in the car, and I was like, my stomach hurt, like. And I and I went to the bathroom and I think at like some restaurant or whatever and I was like, what the fuck? My vagina's crying too. <laughs> you was with your daddy too. Everybody's dead. Everybody yeah. Dreams is dead. My pussy's dead. Like, <laughs> your period was like, I mean, the day's already fucked up. So. <laughs> Might as well, as well go ahead and make a guess. They was like, let me put a little something on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your vagina's probably pretty surprised too when it happens. Yeah, I mean, this is new. It's just like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Yes, <laughs> oh wow, yeah, you did. Look at you. Oh, I was that twenty when you was in college. I was that was senior year of high school. I didn't have no boobs. They were like little nubs, little a cups. Show up, show us a picture where you're not peeking out behind drywall. Well, it, <laughs> oh, that's your, oh, that is that's your shirt. <laughs> Ah, this thing is wild as hell. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was just saying you have boobs. <laughs> you said it first. I was just I, adding a little metaphor. <laughs> you you raped me? You I said thought it first. Like I, I just am like. Over a wall, uh, like Tim Allen. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, wait, what? And then I was like, you asshole. It looked like you were peeking over some stuff. Y'all, Patrick, you're terrible. <laughs> What's the first story? What are we going with first? I want to make sure we get a couple of him good ones with Lulu before she All right. Um, so there's, okay. So there's something called parabiosis. Mm -hmm. Um, that's pretty messed up, and this is kind of like a two-part conspiracy. Oh shit! So, have you guys? You guys have heard of like Fountain of Youth, mm -hmm. old rich people eating fetuses and and 
drinking young young people's blood and stuff the like that. The entire Wayne's family has the fountain of youth in their backyard. Mm -hmm. not They're also you. black. I'm talking about the old, white, dead-looking people by the mm -hmm. time they hit like 50. Like the Rothschilds? Like that level of rich, okay. yeah. Like the Vanderbilts sure. and the Rockefellers. Yeah. yeah. So we this guy had like five heart transplants. So the yeah, Rockefeller, yeah. That's yeah. so that it's actually a thing. You hear about this all the time. Like rich people, you know, they eat fet eat fetuses and and drink young blood. But when you think when you learn the science behind it, it's actually pretty fucked up. So there's something called parabiosis, and these are experiments that have been happening since the 1800s. But it, it got more popularized in 1950. That's when you take two animals and you cut them up and join them together. You join their circulatory system. And what they did was they would like put together an old rat and a, and a young rat and see if their blood affects each other. And what ended up happening was the young blood made the old blood like slow down. It actually made the old part of the rats like slow, like slow down and, and, and stop aging. Mm. And then so science like blew up. And once that like it got hyped up and everybody was talking about that, but nobody was talking about the, 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 the bad parts, like how it was hurting the young part, you know, like it was like, it was really like fucked up and it didn't really work. But the, the headlines of the young blood working for the, the old blood blew up. And then um, science kind of just ran with that. So they've been doing that for a minute. And then um, this basically uh, humans started like, the like the science behind uh, anti aging sort of like ran with this. So they basically said that um, if they share blood circulation, it revitalized uh, the concept of blood as a putative drug. And uh, since 2005, a number of papers uh, have reported the anti aging effect <clears throat> of parabiosis, which is joining an aged mouse to a young partner. This slows the regenerative properties in most tissues. Um, and in these experiments, it was elegantly shown that factors derived from the young part um, are able to activate molecular signaling pathways um, or muscle uh, neural stem cells. And it basically can um, it can go into increased tissue regeneration. OK, so with that said, people actually started um, injecting blood from teenagers and young people into them. All to the point where the FDA had to officially say to not do it. So everybody was just like, when the FDA published that, they were just like, who's who's doing this, right? So now there's a bunch of health um, articles that are saying that the super rich are injecting young blood into them to gain immortality. It seemed like that you would have to inject so much. First of all, very good reading. I would have fumbled, fell down steps, broke dishes, <laughs> trying to read regeneration and cellular and level. I oh, fucked all of that up. But it seems like they're giving themselves like homemade transfusions. Hmm. But even with that, like it seems like the amount of blood that you would have to get in you. And then the old blood that you would have to take out of you yeah. would not be possible to do at home. But if we're talking about super rich people, they, probably have they got dungeons and little yeah. holes in the house. They probably yeah, like have like a, a, a urgent care yeah. in their basement. Like, right. That sound like vampires. That just sound like vampires. It's, with a bunch say, of extra steps. Like yeah. So yeah, yeah. It, that's why I believe vampires is real. So I don't care what y'all tell me. Like, I mean, it's, it's probably not like you know, an old super rich person bites you and you become old and white. And it's probably not like that. It's, it's not probably like that, just but it's like, like, like the, the just the blood part. Exactly. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna drink your blood. I mean. What if they could bite you and they take your dick size? Like you guys switch? Mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah. Like you know how many black men will go missing? In the Do you know how many <laughs> black men are missing? Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was gonna say. I was or gonna your ass? There. They could take your ass. Black yeah. women's ass. Don't you put that on me to him? I'm just saying. That'd be funny. They had to they bite you on the booty though. Like, two little puncture marks. I just be telling people I'm a vampire. <laughs> 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 I bite the booty like rosaries. Like, 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 like. They be harvesting niggas' organs and all of that all the time, finding black bodies dead in the desert. Like no that, that young man who was uh, found rolled up in the. In oh the, yeah, Kendrick. I'm in the carpet. That case yeah, and in the school that he the was mat, the in, mat. The, in the floor mat, he was rolled yeah, up in the floor mat, and none of his organs was there. Yeah. Shout out to Jennifer and they Lewis said it was like an accident, right? Yeah. Too. I I thought, no, they said he did it to years. himself. Yes, I've been following I remember that case. Because you know hard it is to roll the, yourself like the and guy take your that organ allegedly out? did that shit, mm -hmm. like confessed to somebody, and then that kid went and told the cops, and then they were like, "Oh, it's not enough substantial evidence to reopen that case." But I'm telling y'all, an admission, admission of, of guilt. guilt. Yes. Wow. 
because his father, the kid that did it, that kid's dad was like a cop, like yeah. was on the force in some kind of way. So now Jennifer Lewis just did a whole documentary about, it. I think it's like on Amazon and they go into detail about that entire case. But I remember telling my homeboy this cause he was like in the service mm -hmm. and had went to like the VA to get like a physical. And then they were telling him that he had like renal failure or something. I was like, yo, be careful with that shit. Cause the black nurse was like, get, get up out of here and got get an attorney. My homeboy came up dead. So I'm telling you, God like damn. the shit be real. And we were, I was telling myself, be careful. I'm like, be like they do that shit to black people all the time because apparently our organs, like when you do like a transfusion, like uh what what is that? Like transplant. a transplant, like our blood, like the cells and all that stuff in the organs can withstand that trauma, which is That's always crazy. why when it comes to black women and when and black people in general, when when things happen to us. We have a high, they believe we have a higher tolerance pain of pain. Yeah. That's like and the they, first doctors who tried to do all these extra experiments on yeah. women. It was yeah. black women, it was black yeah. slaves. And they was like, oh, they could take the pain. Yeah. With no anesthesia. Yeah. They're like, oh, like, yeah. they don't want to, goddamn. Like, yeah. yeah. They'll be like, oh, she could even, take the pain. Even like like uh, Henrietta Lacks, like the, yeah. the art, all of that shit. Like, it, that shit, be real, it freaks me the fuck out. I, I evolution. all the pain better. I went to the dentist this week and she had numbed me up. She hit me with the little gel first. Then she hit me with the thing in her. And then she started going to work. I was like, uh-uh, do me again. I feel, yep. I, if I oh, feel yeah. anything, yep. anything, I want to be so numb, I fall asleep. Most times when I go to my dentist, she's going to be at the show tonight, Dr. Igwe. Shout out Dr. Igwe, black dentist. She's dope. Um, in that contact over here. I got you. I, it's hard to get in though. I'll be I'll be waiting like I got months black at the time. Hey, too. We, we, okay, yeah. yeah. I need that. A lot, a lot of, was trying yeah. to talk to me about politics, and I was like, I just want my X-rays, bro. Like, yeah, listen. Yeah, no, I love she my black dentist. Like, and you okay. can get put on the list. But anyway. And I feel anything, anything. I I don't know. Nope. Numb me again. Yeah. No, I'm paying for it too. Yeah. Numb yeah. me. Even when, even when I go to the doctor and they be like, "What's your pain level? 10? Oh, for, no, I'm in pain. No, yeah. Are you real? I'm in pain. Right yes. now. Yes. Yeah. Right now. I hate when they don't believe your temperature. That. I'm I, in pain. Give <laughs> <laughs> me drugs. It's cold as fuck. I want drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I remember I, had, I got. It's like these are uh, X-rays. I want drugs. I after I got like I only have like one wisdom tooth taken out. Mm -hmm. But Why? I got dry. I don't know. That means they're, they're up here. They just no, it was the, it was this one. I think at the bottom. I think I don't remember. But I know it was here. my dumbass got my wisdom to taken out like two weeks before Thanksgiving, like an idiot. Oh, you dumb. <laughs> <laughs> they were saying. They were saying you need like, those extra teeth during <laughs> Thanksgiving. They you should have kept those. Like the amount you here of, drinking turkey. Like, they, they were saying like the healing time. I would be fine. Well, Blend no, my, my mac and cheese. <laughs> and he wouldn't give me Vicodin. And I'm like, I need something stronger than this Tylenol bullshit. You I mean, you look like an addict. That's what that means. Yeah. You, give me that. yeah. you look like you're going to be a problem. So, I mean, I would have taken so many and then probably, yes. <laughs> That's crazy that we were put, like, black people were put through so much that pain tolerance became part of our evolution. Mm -hmm. Like, that's crazy. wild. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You like, think I that's think why our blood is so strong? We, Maybe. Our blood is so strong because we're the chosen ones. Amen. Right yeah, I, I think we're it. the chosen ones, but we have to remember that. You know, mm. nigga, stop. Nigga. Niggas stop nigging. Niggas stop nigging. Right. Remember, remember yeah. how powerful your blood is. Niggas gon' nigg they every always day. Gonna oh, they always gon' nigg. They always gon' nigg. But if you think about like when 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 people use like you know stem cell mm -hmm. when they they take the cells mm. out of like fetuses and stuff and that can just build new stuff. It makes sense that young people's blood would slow down aging just yeah. based off of that. So. It's kind of scary, especially like the FDA official warning. Like that just means it's actually happening. The mm -hmm. fact that the FDA had to come out and say something, like, hey, y'all like, niggas, stop doing that super stop shit. Yeah. Y'all missing A positive will be negative blood. Y'all niggas but, finna but, die, but, B. But, but you know what I be thinking too? I be thinking they saying that to get everybody else to stop being on board with the right program. Cause they know it works. So, so it's you like, think it's the reverse psychology? Exactly. Keep the secret to ourselves. Type exactly. Shit. No. It could be, you never know though. You no. never know. Yeah. You wouldn't. You wouldn't disclose it if it were like that. No, it leaked out. And when you gotta do damage, you gotta you gotta, you gotta do damage yeah. control. You gotta yeah. do damage control. I think it's like, like I think it's like with the aliens. Everybody's like, ain't no fucking aliens. Ain't nobody know it. And then guess what? Last year they was like, oh yeah. Uh, by the way, we got aliens. Uh, yeah, because they had recorded evidence and people were seeing them. You, I don't think anybody's seeing these transfusions. Well, here's the thing. Word like, not, 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 to, to lose point, imagine this. Imagine we found out that the same way you do blood transfusions, there's a way to do cell transfusions, right? And mm -hmm. you could take positives and healthy cells from somebody that does not have cancer and swap those out with cancerous cells of somebody that does have cancer, right? right? And you find out that you can cure cancer over two or three 
um, transfusions. Tra transfusions or surgeries, right? But all of these companies that have all of this medicine yep. for for, for yep. cancer patients Millions. now yep. are about to go yep. under, right? right. Yep. So now they're like, well, we can't like let this shit get out. It's the same thing with the fucking electric cars, electric cars bro. Yeah. I remember electric cars yeah, remember when I was in high school, two thousand and one. They took it. Yeah, they took, it. they took they took these motherfucking electric cars off the market yep. because they were afraid that the gas and the oil companies would crumble. And so yeah. they were completely removed them and they put all of these fucking um uh, policies in place for you to not be able to do it. They had hydro powered cars. Mm -hmm. I remember all of this shit in high school, and I remember learning about like, yo, why? Why are we doing this like Didn't on a larger disappear? market? Nigga, they took yeah, that yeah, shit took off the up, market, bro. The guy who to invented Jay it. House and cook, took his car. No, he before that, like when the patent first dropped way before that, that guy, I think, disappeared. I wouldn't be surprised. Bro. I believe in aliens. I feel like Any... it was one time I was telling Hell you. Hell yeah. Hell, aliens is hell yeah. Because right? I don't know how. But y'all don't think we the only people yeah. in this That's entire narcissistic universe. Yeah. That's narcissistic That's so, like, we think we so great. Like, Earth yeah. is the best. Like, ain't nobody else out there but us. Like, no, it's like when you go, if you go to a jungle, you be like, I'm the only one here. You know, there's natives in there watching your dumb ass saying, <laughs> I'm the only <laughs> one here. Yeah, 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 yeah you, you want to be the only one dead here, nigga. <laughs> What's that Much. island where that hasn't been, like, civilized? Like, I guess, like, I guess colonized. Mm -hmm. I would say that. It's an island, like, somewhere off the coast. I don't know if it's near Africa, but it hasn't been colonized, and they speak their native language. I know what you talk that. about. Yeah. I seen the documentary about And they be about trying that. to, and they be trying to come over there, and, and they, they be, be trying to get alone. And they be shooting. They, they, balls they, and yeah, balls. they, they be like, get off. off. We don't get want off. none of this shit. Yeah, man, that shit crazy as fuck, boy. With they little bows and arrows. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah they ain't doing nothing. If they that motherfucking white body washed up on that, I'm like, damn. But the fact that they believe in themselves, they like, we gonna die for this shit. We don't want to be colonized. That's funny. I mean, that's funny to still have bow and arrows. <laughs> Nigga, I'm, watch, I'm, I'm watching... Um, I'm alarm. That's shit funny. I'm, wa I'm watching C right now. If y'all are watching -E, that on Apple yeah. TV. I seen that shit. That's my favorite just, show. I yo, I, I finished it. Yeah, I just started season two. It's the best show. If you have Apple ever. TV, watch C. that shit. Okay. It's crazy. only on Apple? It's well, only on Apple. Yeah. Okay. It's an original yeah. series. Yeah. Jason Momoa is in there. And uh, what's Ooh, the guy? Batista's in, there. in there. But he doesn't come to the second season. I ain't gonna say shit else. Just watch that yo, shit. You talking about like all these big ass real? That shit is wild. Yeah, it's yeah. a wild ass concept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But man, shit is crazy. But anyway, let's let's jump into another conspiracy, man. We on CP's coming on the second hour, guys. We got Lulu for the first hour. CP for the second hour. He's gonna be here. I promise you. We are gonna have a great show, man. Parabiosis. All right. Give me. Ain't got no aliens or no ghosts. You ain't, um. No you want you want a ghost one? I got Give a ghost, ghost one. All right. Uh, this is actually kind of messed up. Yeah, I, I, ghost, ghost is like it's like this. It's the the roller coaster conspiracy for me. Like it's like the drop is like oh, but at the same time, oh, I like it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> you ever encounter no ghosts? Or yeah, I absolutely have. Okay. Uh, have, yeah. you seen, have you seen like has anybody in here? Ever yeah, I've seen, seen spirits. Yeah, yeah I've seen, I've seen, I've seen all the time. Yeah. shadows turn into little men at my aunt's old house. It was crazy because my that's aunt was the up. one. That's tales from the hood. That's yeah, yeah. I'm like, nah, but this was before that. This was before I had saw tales from the hood. This is how I know that shit is real because no one can think of some shit like that without somebody else having exactly. a, a first-hand experience mm -hmm. of some shit yeah. like that. Everything Which is, is inspired why it's like by something. Dragons, vampires, all this shit. Motherfuckers can't just like just think of some yeah. shit. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. All of these separate places that had no contact with all of them have dragon stories. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. It's anyway. crazy. Yes, but I've seen I've seen like spirit interactions and shit like that. Yes. Okay. Wait, but shadows would turn into little men and just run around? What I only seen it once at my aunt's house and was like. It was, in, it was a Saturday morning, and everybody else had left except me and my older cousin, Ray. We were playing F-Zero on Super Nintendo, and the lights flickered like like that. And then it was like a, it was a, a, a end table that had a lamp on it, and the lamp was like close to the wall, and it was casting shadows, obviously, because the lamp didn't have a shade on us, some nigga shit. And <laughs> it was like the hallway where a lot of the paranormal activity like took place that led into all the bedrooms and the bathroom. I saw like the shadow from the table that the lamp was sitting on and a chair and it was something like a pile of clothes. Like the shadows was like, like, you know, like shadows. And I saw them take form and just like run toward that hallway that mm -hmm. uh, all the paranormal activity. I remember that same, not that same weekend, but like the same hallway. I remember one time I was sleeping in my cousin's bed, uh, me and Ray with foot to head. And I, the way I was laying, I was at the foot of the bed and I remember waking up and turning and looking out his doorway. His doorway faced the hallway. And then right across from his his bedroom was the bathroom. And so I remember like turning my head and looking and opening my eyes. It's the middle of the night. 
and I see a shadowy figure, and it's big, and I'm thinking it's my Uncle Big Ray, right? But I, I'm listening, and I still hear my Uncle Big Ray snoring. So I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's not Big Ray, and it's not one of the girls because they're not shaped like that. And in this mm -hmm. dark figure, I see a bright white smile. Like, mm -hmm. you can see his teeth. That's and I know that's not some normal shit, bro. Nope. And I, like, the, the amount of terror and fear that just came over my body, I just turned my body back over. You just went back to sleep? I, I just, what I didn't go do? back to sleep. Well, I, it's like, scream, wake niggas up. And then what? And then the ghost come kill you? Nope. Nah, man. Yeah, like, I man. Man. Because because watching sleep. The Conjuring 2 last night, y'all got, look. I would have screamed. Mm -mm. I mean, but how that spirit was acting, that motherfucker was like fucking Man. shit up for everybody. So he didn't seem like, like he meant honey yeah, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He just you, smiled, you know the energy. Yeah. And it didn't look like a creepy smile. It just, it just, I just saw all his teeth. And I'm yeah. just like, ooh, yeah. nigga. Because I just turned back <laughs> over. And I think I tried to wake my cousin Ray up, but I feel like he like he just kicked his feet at me. And so when I turned back <laughs> over, it was gone. Yeah. So it was like, well, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you don't think you don't think uh home invasion? Like aliens? Like, no, no. Like, <laughs> Like a robbery? Yeah, like regular nigga. No, 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 no. No, I'm telling you, it looked like a shadowy figure. It didn't look like oh, it, a, it a person. person. It looked like just like like it was almost transparent, but you could tell it was like a shadowy figure of something big. Mm. So there's no way that I should have been able to see the teeth. Mm -mm, right. yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's mm -mm. weird. Yes. That's mm -hmm. the teeth yeah. thing is weird for me. I mean, I fully saw my grand after she passed, like I saw her like a full figure like in the house. Okay. And like she was just walking and she turned and looked at me. I was like, I'm out of here. Nope. You saw her like so, clearly? Clearly, clear as that. But like it was like transparent, but I could see her face. Like, you know, like it, everything else was regular, but like she looked kind of dreamy mm -hmm. and look looked dead at me and went into the bathroom. I was like, I'm not going over there. Bro, Damn. I'm not. Now when my grandma died, I was there when they had taking her off life support and so we're like very like connected to the spiritual world and all that stuff so as it happened i said grandma like let me know that you're okay like when it's done so i leave go home and it's like that morning of her services mm -hmm. and i'm having a dream and i'm at her house and we're sitting at the the dining room table where we will always sit and talk she had a tv in there and she's talking normal and my grandma had a stroke like when I was in elementary school. So now I'm in college and, you know, she passed away. And so we're talking normal. And I'm like, why she like, grandma, I, I asked you, were you okay? And she turned and looked at me and she said, I'm fine. I'm okay. And like, just like I said, in her normal tone mm -hmm. and I woke up and I was just crying, but it's something with my grandma's house. It's this weird spiritual it's portal. Energy, yeah. yeah. And it's always been like that. And my dad lives there now. And He's always like, why don't y'all want to stay over here? I'm like, nigga, because grandma's house is scary. <laughs> like, they used to tell us weird shit. Like, my cousin was stuck in the mirror, like, at my grandma's house Excuse in her me? bedroom. Mm -hmm. So, we finally stayed over. I you, took wait, my wait, wait, What do you mean? Like, the, my aunt Sharon told us this story about my cousin Tia getting stuck in the mirror. Like, it was a spirit putting her through the mirror at my grandma's house. Nigga, she, so we she, had to, she went missing? Like, yeah, she went missing. Listen, I don't know. I can call her and ask her, but they Tia? told us that Tia, oh, my so cousin, she's not, stuck in the she's not, she alive. She was somewhere. And oh, I so like, when I stayed the night at my grandma's house, I put the coat over there. Janelle was like, what are you doing? I was like, nigga, that's that mirror. I'm not. <laughs> that mirror. What was the, what was the, the, the deal? I don't know. I, I just know everybody always has these weird stories. And even Mirrors as our portals. Yeah. And, and so, yeah. Okay, okay. So the, that's why that when people true. die, they say cover the mirrors. Because their no, spirit could come get, through the mirror, or or what? my my relationship with the mirrors are it, it's also an added layer of protection. So if let's say somebody has a bad spirit, they cannot pass a certain threshold past that mirror. And I witnessed that with some shit went down at like my house in St. Louis. My mom has a mirror at the door, and we had this whole debacle that went down. And it was like my uncle and my uncle could not pass that mirror. It was it was the weirdest thing. I I saw it with my own two eyes. He could not. And you said because he had a bad spirit. Yeah, a bad spirit. He couldn't. I didn't know those in my he house. He could not pass right. it. So I'm literally thinking about, you, you, about the layout of my yeah. house. Like, yeah. I'm, gonna put, in the, and, I'm and, gonna put that right before and, you get and, to my bed. A lot like, of people do that, and I had told my he walk bad past dick he, he spirit out of here. He could not pass the mirror. It was like he was stuck, and he could not get past the mirror. Like he like he kept freezing. It was. I don't. Okay, so kind of like okay, so you remember like in like 
like in a lot of um Who like biblical right stories <laughs> uh like even when you talk about like voodoo or hoodoo like a lot of times they'll bless the door yeah with like a layer of like blood so remember in lovecraft when that one chick was trying they was trying to come into the house and letty's house they couldn't get through yeah mm -hmm. that goes back to biblical terms yeah though, that's like, biblical like, terms oh, the, the blood. yeah put yeah, the blood over your door yes. and you can't let the evil and so the in. mirror is like that and so I how, saw it. how did he not be able I don't to pass know. It. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I just know what I saw, and this nigga could not pass the door. What about the the woman who got trapped in the mirror? Let's talk about that. I think the nigga was full of shit, but it's just like <laughs> it was like well, weird. Listen, I'm gonna send this clip to my eye share, and I'm going to ask her, and I will ask her to record a video telling us how she got stuck in the mirror. Yes, I think the niggas was lying, but it, even as an adult, my grandma. I, it's just we a scary all, story. My cousins and I, we talk about it all the time. And we're like, do you have weird dreams, like spiritual dreams that happen at grandma's house? And my cousins are like, absolutely. Man, Everything always leads back to this house. All right, let's go with the story, Pat. Man, Give me the ghost story. <laughs> okay. This isn't a ghost story. This is a ghost reality. All right. Hmm? It's new technology. So uh, there is. Okay. So you guys know what AR is? Mm -hmm. Augmented reality. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like. Like, um, the most popular example is Pokemon Go, how you can look at your phone. This is all the same, but there's a little thing right mm -hmm. here, right? So there's uh, something coming out that's called an AR paranormal detection technology. And it basically gives you the ability to actually see spirits around you if you want. You have to opt into this, obviously. But um, you you would... Okay, yeah. well, here, let me... Uh, it's It's basically a... It, it can basically pick up, like literally pick up the ghost. If you think that there's a ghost in your room or your your spot, it says like if you have a long lost uncle or an like uh, errant EKG, soul. What is it called? A... But that's the those are just like beeps and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they'd be like beep 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 beep. Which beep, is beep, like, beep, 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 beep. I feel like that's the easiest way to make any paranormal show because mm -hmm. like all that technology is like it'll be like if something passes here, this light will go yeah, off. Yeah, if it's or too cold or something. I could go and I could go to Six Flags and do that and be like, oh, this hell it goes. It's like beep 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 beep. Like that's it's not really like. You, you can pretty much make that up, but I guess with this, um, you, you, it'll pop up like you can actually be able to identify these ghosts. It says that there's um, this new technology. It detects the energy and field fluctuations to identify real life spirits that haunt you. Once you've identified your ghosts, you can summon them into your room using AR and be sure to turn the sound on so you can hear what they have to say. This shit is creepy. It's super I creepy. But I, it. This is what it know. Like. I don't want to know. Like I don't want to know. No. Isn't that fucking? This is horrifying. Look at this deer. <laughs> no, don't. I ain't. Uh. <laughs> but you know what? This would make you, you know so what? much. What the fuck is that? Why would you do that? Why did I put it on the screen? <laughs> oh, what was that? That was creepy. Summon your ghost. Not only will. Oh, you will also be able to find out how they died. Wait. Smother with chloroform, washcloth, and put in meat grinder. Hang on. That's what it would look like? I'm good. Oh, hell. Abducted and murdered? You can hear me softly crying when the house is completely still and silent. This is nope. way worse I'm than what I was thinking. That's, okay, yeah, that's, that's way worse than what I was wait, thinking. Wait, I don't even understand. So, what wait, I'm so there's, there. is there a bunch of ghosts that you can Will select you like a video forever? game? I know, right? Character select. <laughs> well, whoever had whoever that house was was haunted to the worst degree. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I feel like somebody would do something like, let me get a Ouija board. And like yeah, see, see who I could start. contact, that's, see, but that's that, just text messaging ghosts, though. But that's what I'm saying. But that's the thing. Listen, listen, because if I text you right, then I can FaceTime you afterwards. <laughs> I'm down with the text. That's how that always compared starts. to the but like, with that You got to do cool. both it's at the cool. same time. Shit, you got to bring the Ouija with. and the camera at the nope. same time. No, so that way I could text you, be like, "Yo, Jimmy's this you." Even the ghost would be like, "She's wild. She got a Ouija board right here. She's she got an EKG on her back." That's like, yo. Oh, we're here. <laughs> I'm committed. This is the nope. kind of person I am. Oh, no, I'm, good. Okay. I'm, good. Is, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Then what if you want to be friends? And then it's like, yeah, she's like, this is the only person that can see me. They said they had a ghost named Steve. I uh, Sharon, what happened to the ghost Steve? See, y'all said, said that Steve moving into the log cabin. So you know what? So what happened to Steve? Get the app, and then you can ask Steve, "What's I up with Steve?" On, I ain't no, no, because Steve's gonna be like, "Hey, there's this chick here. She, she, she can understand us." And then he's gonna bring all the ghost homies through, and now you you're gonna, gonna have hell. Like, oh, that's exhausting, mm -hmm. yo. I don't want to be talking. I don't like talking to regular people. I gotta talk to ghost people too. I mean, all you have to do is just keep your phone off and be like, "Come on." <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, because then they start moving shit. <laughs> one, one, one of you like turn your phone on silent and then turn the face down, then you turn it on. <laughs> I, I don't know the passcode. Like y'all don't know the passcode. Like, no, I'm on break. You turn it on with silent back over, they just bring it back over. They try to unlock it with my face and start floating the shit. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I, brought, I brought somebody. You're making me. You're embarrassing me. Your <laughs> oh, oh, face. I like your face. It is hilarious. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. This works. Oh. I, was, I died in 1800. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to use iPhone. <laughs> oh my God. Hang on. Do something like this. I've seen him do something like this. Bro, that ghost shit be so scary because, like, you don't know, like, you always try to, like, your common sense, oh, your logical mind always trying to come to place. I told, I told you when we first moved into the new place, mm -hmm. we were there the second night. I'm laying down with sleep. And then I remember it was like 2 30 in the morning. And I remember, um, I remember I heard my name, but like it wasn't in a regular voice. It was like Robert. Oh, and I woke shit, up no. like, what the fuck was that? Right? <laughs> Bear asleep on the side of me, knocked out. The drunk, TV's man. playing Archer. So it's no way somebody said, and I've seen that episode. They don't say Robert in this episode. <laughs> the window's open, but I'm look, I like I immediately get up, look outside. Nobody's outside. And so I'm like, all right, I'm tripping. I must have dreamt that and then woke up and then. Cause my mind is like, no, this this couldn't be it, right? So like, two weeks later, the kid gets up in the middle of the night. I told you this one too. Goes to the bathroom. She said when she comes out of the bathroom, the way the townhouse is set up, she comes out. All right, so if her bathroom was right here, her bedroom was right here. There's a small hallway, the closet door right here. But when you get to the end of the closet door, like it's open way, you can go to the kitchen, living room, upstairs, downstairs, wherever. She says she walks past the wall. She's about to walk to a bedroom and she sees a man in like the same type of pants that Dominique's print is. Like, uh, like stripes? yeah, the stripes. So she sees a man in a black shirt and striped pants just standing in yeah. like by our, 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 our kitchen table. Just at standing night? there. Doesn't the do night? anything. He's just standing there with his hands on the hips looking at her. And she said she couldn't see his face. So she said she looked at him and she just went back in her room and closed the door. She went back to sleep. She knew it was a ghost, but she knew she knew it wasn't me. It was too yeah. tall to be me. She said the nigga was like six something. I was like, yeah, that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. at, in the middle of the night like this, <laughs> and those pants, <laughs> and those pants, <laughs> and those jeans. <laughs> Even if it was you, I'm sure like she'd still go to her room and be like, what the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> he was just but like, no, so here, what do you think that it's possible that it could be somebody that could be an ancestor of yours that? Could be here, like with you, that could have like potentially traveled with you. Very possible. Yeah. Very possible. I think. I think. I think. I think it could be an ancestor. I think it could be um, the the, uh, the family member of somebody that passed at the, who lived in the house. I mean, lived in the house previously. Well, that's what they have to tell you if somebody died there before you move. They in. have to tell you if somebody was killed there. Yeah. Uh, if somebody died there, people die like, in houses all the time. All the time. Yeah. All the time they don't have to tell you that. But if like if there was a murder, mm -hmm. intrusion, I mean, invasion, something like that, they have to tell you. But they don't have to tell you if somebody died. Do you like think that we the, the fact that we believe in ghosts is what makes it amplified and like no. we see it or if like there are people who are be, are made believers and they're like that's hush oh, hush yeah, you know yeah, my dad yeah. was like that because I grew up in like three haunted houses like it was all the time and everybody luckily it wasn't like an isolated thing like the whole family knew and people came over they knew so it was like okay we're not crazy my dad was the last person and I remember I came home from work one day and he looked at me and he was like you just got home I'm like yeah he was like. Somebody just walked up to the bathroom, looked at me, and walked into the bathroom. <gasps> and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. he made the, had the most dad response. He's like, well, they better start paying rent. <laughs> and I was just like, all right, well, whatever. You know now. <laughs> ghost but bucks? This will, you... this will mess you guys up. We use we think that, like, oh, if there's ghosts in my house, it's ancestors for me or somebody died in this house. But if your house is like a portal of energy, it can just people who died in the vicinity yep. coming through yeah like somebody like my my sister met this like um i guess she was like a psychic or medium or something and she just knew that my sister lived in a place where there were spirits and she was able to like 
touch my sister and be like, oh, you were marked by spirits. Your family was. And she named, she listed every spirit that was in the house by name, which is fucked up. And um, they none like rarely, like maybe like only two of them died in the house. It was just like yeah. somewhere else. Mm. And they, because of the spiritual, um, I guess it was like a portal or something. Mm -hmm. They just <laughs> hung out there. Yeah. And it's just yeah. like, I didn't die here, but it's cracking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it's I fucking like, weird. I it is. Like all the time. I remember when I first moved to LA, and I had told the person formerly known as my cousin that I formerly said, hey. Known? Uh, yeah. No, oh, okay. Uh, it's Prince? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's a so I told her, I said, yo, something followed me from St. Louis out here. So my birth mom died when I was six months. My aunt raised my big sister and I as her kids, you know? So I would have, like, somebody saying the name like that would happen to me in our like childhood home in like St. Louis all the time. So I just always would equate it. That is my mom. I was never, mm. I never felt threatened by that spirit. Like mm -hmm. it'll be sometimes I'll be asleep and they'll move the hair out my face and look at me. I could feel all that happening or, and they'll whisper my name. So I was never afraid, but mm. I remember it's telling scary, my cousin, though. I'm like, yo, something followed me out here. Yeah. And then my aunt by Lee that had uh, like a stroke or whatever, she said, oh, Edna came to visit me, which is my grandma. And she said, yeah, she's out there in California. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, see, I told y'all something followed me out here. I just didn't know what spirit it yeah. was. So I believe in shit Damn. like that, like, all the time. See, I already knew because when I was a little girl, like, I, I lost my grandmother when I was young. Mm -hmm. And then my great aunt when I was younger. And I'll never forget this, this just a homegirl, family friend. She was at my house. And I walked past her. And she was like, ooh. And my mother was like, what's wrong? She's like, she got somebody with her. Uh, that's nothing and my, and my mother hear. was like, who? She was like, and the woman never, she was a young girl. She was a teenager. Oh, you head. didn't know her? No, I knew her, but she uh. was a teenager, but we didn't know the gift she had. Yeah. And she was, and she started to tell my mother who's with me. And my mother was like, just by the description alone, my mother was like, that's my mother and my aunt. Mm. Oh wow! And yeah. she was like, "Oh, she's never alone. They're always with her." Okay. So I, anytime I feel something, I'm like, "Oh, it's them. They in my business." Yeah. They, she in your business too now. Well, I just be like, I, my question be this though, like when it comes to porn, like you know, when you be watching, oh, they watch videos, it. They take I'm a break. Like, so you just can y'all go to another room? I think they take like, a break. I, like I have a fellow in my mind when I grab my bed, I will that's turn disgusting. that shit. I'm like, I don't want you. Mm. That in my big brother on my phone. <laughs> hey man, that's the one thing I don't think about. I be like, fuck, I gotta get this nut off. I know, <laughs> I know, but I'm like, after it's I come, you know, you have, you know, like you have that guilty nut, and you're like, damn, what if them niggas is watching me? Hey man, I feel like somebody always is. Somebody watching. Name an ancestor, somebody on the other than your camera. I mean, I, every time I'm I'm done after after porn hub, I be like, I'm sorry, God. I know you said that. <laughs> Hey, you, love, you did this to me. You know, know what is happening. <laughs> I want to go to one of the uh the um more my uh I'm sorry, scary squad, scary squad conspiracy theories, but I wanna I I, I think everybody knows about the two census horror stories. Yeah, the what two census horror stories. Uh -uh. This yeah, is one of them. This one made me think about it when uh you, you said the story about your dad. It said uh you hear your mom calling you into the kitchen as you're heading down the stairs, you hear a whisper from the closet saying, Don't go down there, honey. I heard it too. Wait, say that what? one more time. You hear your mom. You hear your. That gave me chills. Yeah, that gave me chills. You hear your mom calling you into the kitchen as you're heading down the stairs. You hear a whisper from the closet saying, "Don't go down there, honey. I heard it too." I read that one in that a couple of ways. Me, it was like you are like the bed one. Oh, the other the bed Ooh, one. That one. I don't get up. it, but it's scary. Okay, there's a there's another variation of that. That's like um a kid uh, a dad comes to check on his kid and he's like he's like uh, the kid is like shivering. She's like. There's something in the closet. He's there, he's staring at me. There's something in the closet, and then he goes into the closet and he opens it, and it's his kid. And he's like, "There's something. There's something in, in my, my bed." bed. Right. And Someone then, in my bed. And then yeah. in the picture, it sees like like the kid that he just talked to is like looking at him. It's like, "Yo, get the fuck out of here!" <laughs> I'd kill both of them. <laughs> you can't, Wait, I think you, you can't be sure. Said no, no, give a couple. These are creepy. Oh, okay, no, okay. No, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait. Who can make a two oh, sentence no. horror sleep? Nigga scared oh, okay, me. Yeah, so with this, 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 this is this is this <laughs> is another one. This is another one. I'm staying at your house. This was a there was a picture in my phone of me sleep, sleeping. I live alone. I'm out the house. How that picture of in my phone of me sleeping? That's funny. If a ghost, like, when I tell y'all, it's just back to the thing. Like he unlocked your phone, all that. So to here, can I sleep on your couch? Hey man, pull up. The last thing I saw was my Actually, alarm no. clock flashing twelve oh seven before she pushed her long rotting nails through my chest, her other hand muffling my screams. I sat bolt upright, relieved it was only a dream. But as I saw my alarm clock read twelve oh six. I heard my closet door creak open. Ah, uh, these are these are these are no. Nah, keep keep them going. 
I like these. Okay. Uh, Short and sweet. I'm scared. I okay, okay. It. I, I awoke it. to Long the sound rocking. of the baby monitor crackling with a voice comforting my firstborn child. As I adjusted to a new position, my arm brushed against my wife sleeping next to me. Uh, at least he's not in the room with you, though. Wait, wait. I, 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 Take I the baby. To, I woke to the sound of my of the baby monitor crackling with a voice comforting my first. Oh, he was in there comforting oh. the baby. Comforting the baby. That's why I don't like baby yeah. monitors. Or oh, the just, ones that have the 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 camera where you can actually see. Scary. It looks yeah, scary. It looks like you're scary. setting yeah, yourself up me uncomfortable. to get scared. Like why can't more it be anything? in color? Why can't it be? Why right? can't it adjust the brightness? It's always that CCTV, <laughs> that liquor store camera. It's always yeah. It's always like the first forty eight camera, which is like, perfect for ghosts. It's like all vague. It was, it was one more. Oh no, it was on the other side. I was just looking. That up. first one was fucked up. The, the fact that the mother. Went in the closet and hid before like doing anything though. <laughs> in that first story. Oh, so, now, hey, I don't, hey, don't go down I there. I think it was like I think that was like maybe a demon or something in like that. And then whatever that voice was in the closet was for, like, I, uh, well, I, like no no no. It, it said that my that, mom, the mom was someone was calling them downstairs. And then before they went downstairs, they're like, "Don't go down there. That's not me." Basically, but right. but, but, it, but it was in the closet. closet. Why was it in the closet? Because well, because she was hiding. Why would you snatch your child That's up? What That's saying. what I'm saying. No, the mom no, hid no, I instead of like, <laughs> she was just I, like, I, I hey, hey, don't go down there. Like, hey, <laughs> Why don't you take me? You're with the you, protector. Mom? Listen, this this one says, I uh, just did the stupid shit. Like, hey, she wasn't calling me. I can hear one year into the future. Today, the noise stopped. Oh, that's the day you die. That, that's just suck. That just sucks. I'd be nervous. Mm hmm. I'd be, I'd be wild and fun. Okay. The driver wasn't chatty, so I checked my phone. Got an alert that said, hey, it's your Uber driver. I'm outside. That's the worst. Oh, that's abduction. That's, that's, that's kidnapping. Abduction. That's kidnapping. Can you yes. imagine being in the car that you think is your Uber, and then you get a notification like five minutes later, your Uber has arrived, you like, uh, I'm, I'm opening the door. Oh. No, I'm going to answer Bella. And they said I, he wasn't chatty. Like, that I was like am a opening subtle. the door, and I'm rolling out the car. Uber that's has it. a new thing where they have a pin. If you, if you order something, you get in, and then you have to give them the pin to make sure both of, to, to make, like, both people know that this is the right place because that happens like and, all the and time. The, that's why they say, especially if you're a woman, yeah, don't that. don't get in a car and and say for Lulu or for like like say hey who is who is this for and let yeah, them say the no, name. Yeah, yeah. they'll be like and I uh, checked that license yeah, plate like twenty times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Even when I sit in the car and they have their phone here, I check to see if it's my information, my pen, yeah. like my face and everything. I'm like, oh yeah, it's for me. It's for me. You. For the, me. Um, what is it? The um, Lyft now has they send them a, a tablet. And so yeah, they put the tablet on the back seat so you can make sure it has your your name, your face, and all that, and the destination. And you it, it travels and moves along as you go along the trip, so you can make sure that you're actually in the oh, right good. Vehicle. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because it's really like a taxi cab now. Yeah, because I always thought Uber and Lyft was like a little suspect. Like you just anybody could come and pick you up. Anybody who got a right. car be like, like, did you check to see if they got any warrants or like, <laughs> like that is, you don't it know be a rapist or something? It's, it's organized hitchhiking, yeah. exactly, it it is. which is which is crazy. That like when I think of hitchhiking, that that was a thing. And you were just walking and be like, anyone who's down, you know, like anybody who's down, mm -hmm. which is more than likely anybody. a crazy person, as opposed to like, oh, let me help this person out. Like, you think the only people who pulled over are the people who want to do some wild shit. Yeah. Because they were the same like, person. If somebody say, we're like, oh, I'm a fucking crazy. I'm not picking them up. You but then they'd get in and be like, no family. Nobody's looking <laughs> right. for me. I got to go down this way. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> I got no family, no friends. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, I'm just out here living no the life. No one would check you know? on me anyways. Mm. So, who are you? Let's get one of the ones from, uh, <laughs> from the scary spot. The patrons. Okay. Mm -mm. That um, was so scary. That, yeah, that first one was actually kind of messed mm -hmm. up. That shit fucked up my head. And then what you just said about the one within the closet with the kid, mm -hmm. that is oh, creepy. Oh, yeah. That one, that one messed up. I would definitely have to just kill both kids. That's what I'm saying. You got to be... Because obviously, there's a shapeshifter. Yeah. And clearly, I was... Fooled the first time, <laughs> <laughs> so just lining them up. And just Fool be like, me once, you know. Shame on me. When y'all move into places, like, do y'all have somebody come and like sage and bless y'all place? I do it myself. I, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, but now that I think about it, I should probably get a professional. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get. Yeah, I'm gonna start getting a professional. So imagine you do it wrong, and the ghosts are just looking like this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're just over there looking dumb. And, and you pull out your phone to see what they doing. Like, Look at this bitch. <laughs> oh, get out of here! <laughs> like, sage, they looking at you like that's how we do it. <laughs> they blowing the same back. <laughs> I did have a friend. You're supposed to go clockwise, dumbass. And she had burned like some sage, and then every time like she would light it, 
it was like somebody it was like someone put their hand over it and it would go out well in my old i felt like my that's old not even place, worth my cleansing. old place was kind of something something was in my old place because i used to even say i had a kitchen ghost mm. and like i would do lives and everything and then my fans would know like yo there's a ki- there's a ghost in your kitchen or Why? something things will always just happen wrong in my kitchen like something will i was boiling something and the water boiled super fast and at the egg it was an egg and it blew up and hit the ceiling the egg shot out the egg shot i put the pot on <laughs> and the egg culinary blew, ghost blew up and hit the ceiling <laughs> or I, one time too long. The, like the electricity goes off like random things that happen i was like no there kitchen is ghost. definitely something in here Damn. like i used mm-hmm. to have a kitchen ghost too well i renovated and like i would literally at the same time every night hear somebody going through the kitchen mess like rattling stuff cabinets silverware and i knew it was bad because there was one time i woke up i heard it and i was like oh. like things sleep. go missing you ever have something go missing like and then it, and it ends up somewhere else socks i don't know where my remote is socks. and i i've said that like you've been sitting on that no, for no, a couple no, days i don't know where my remote is they freaked me out last night when watching that stupid movie the conjuring 2 y'all and the, the the remote was like moving and it was like the freaking go i so i've been using my remote on my phone like so my, i have no idea <laughs> where let me let me no well no i have a roku tv in my okay, room gotcha, gotcha. but i just i don't let me tell you i the other day in my house my remote went missing for two hours i am going insane looking for this remote do you hear me to hear and i made a proclamation in the, and i yelled it out i said look i don't give a fuck what you want to do today ghost <laughs> but i was like yo give me my fucking remote and i'm gonna leave you the fuck alone today seriously two seconds later found the remote that's wow funny. I mean, all you have to do is ask I was like, you gotta have some bass in your voice, and you gotta like. Yeah, that's why the I, white I women and them, no they be screaming in the movies, like, I'm just get out of my overnight bag and go over to here. Uh uh-uh. uh, uh uh. He definitely gave me that that remote back, yeah. and then I was like, thank you. <laughs> there's a there, there's always been like a dwarf conspiracy where like, like no for real, it's really creepy. There's like like little dwarves in the. That's why I was it was freaked out by the um little, the little the people. Saddle, yeah, yeah, because like they'll like there's a, the joke is that they come and steal your socks. That's Who? like. Like little little dwarf people, but what they doing uh, with the socks though? I don't like, know, I but it, that's just blanket? like the whole I don't thing. Know. Uh, behind... Are they building houses? These socks? What are they doing? <laughs> I don't, I'm trying to. F- I, this wasn't one of the planned ones, but <laughs> <The> ghost- <laughs> he called me the ghost snuffer. <laughs> hey, the 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 ghost putting out the sage is hilarious. Then they said, no. <laughs> <laughs> she, said, uh, she said, and she would keep lighting it, and it would happen. And she came yeah. to work, and she was, like, freaked out and telling me. I was like, oh, bitch, get the fuck out. You ever hear, like, if when you're burning a candle, and if the, if the if it flickers a certain way or if it moves a certain way, like, you could tell there's a presence in the room? From the candle? hmm I mean, what? I feel like I've heard that before, but mm-hmm. I, I also know that, like, fire jumps and moves oh. and does all these yeah but if things. there's no air and then nothing is moving and there's and, no air like you know like there's not yeah, like, like wind a window blowing, a window the window's open. not open there's this nothing like fire going crazy though mm-hmm. hold on i just gotta say that this one right here this is weird i don't even know how to feel about this one it says uh this is two yeah, seconds see one. sherry barnes what i'm talking about this you gotta a, read them candles this one says uh i never go to sleep but i keep waking up what nigga I never go to sleep, but I keep waking up. Right. What if you never remember going to sleep, but you always remember waking up? That sounds like a good drunk. movie. <laughs> nigga right. drunk. That's, that's, that's <laughs> the thing. <laughs> and nigga turned it up. Yeah. I, uh-uh. I had a couple nights like that. You just like, you partying wow. one day, partying one moment, and then you're like. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> when there's a movie on Netflix that's like uh, awake like no, uh, in the movie like nobody goes to sleep mm-hmm. like something happens in the universe oh that's like, right something and happens and one then, person can sleep and then like, she's like the t- golden child or something yeah like something like i never watched it ain't that like, c ain't that just another variation of the movie c everybody blind but one person like, right it's just like yeah, four or five yes yeah, it's like 400 500 years in the future where um one person can see that's the same movie. well no it's not it's not one person it's, it's been a couple of people but they haven't it's like 400 years in the future so they're like people seeing what is that like that ain't a real thing that's just a myth that's just like whatever but then there's these people who actually are the site is coming back so and their eyes oh! are open yeah they can so it's see like black box but like not black box. bird box bird box bird bird box. But, bird, but they, bird, but these, bird, now, bird, bird box was you weren't supposed to look at that yeah couldn't you couldn't out. see like out in public no people could still was... see but you had to blindfold yeah you yeah. yeah but then it was but then if you're saying it could come back then i can like see Healthy. No, no, like some nah. people are born with sight. It's just like think of it in the, in the society of reverse, where 
we all have sight, and there's some people that are born blind, you know. Right, right. But for uh, them, it's the reverse. Like everybody, also oh, they're blind. born with it. It's not like okay. people like are getting their sight back. Yeah, eventually. yeah, yeah. No, yeah. these are people who are oh, born with okay, sight. Okay, got it, got yeah. it, got so it, got it, got they're, it. you know, so the whole community, the whole world is a blind world. Okay. And the way they like move around in this universe, in this world where it's like everything is like think about like everything is blind. Like you, you they, their whole world, their community. Even animals. The animals can see. I think animals too can see. Yeah. yeah, the animals can see. Yeah, but the people are like, that's but they create weird. these I'm worlds like, while like, they're blind. How like building shit. I mean, honestly, they show like, you that. So I'm saying, you're like, yeah. how does this happen? They show you how they do it, and it's like, oh, and they're still building stuff. In? Yeah, they have houses and homes, and they live oh, lives, kinda, and they have fires, and they have councils dope. and kings and all queens. The house, all and, the houses wow. are trash. Okay, no, I am. No, I am this, shit, this shit be dope, and you be like, how? Who's designing this shit? Different color paint. Have y'all started watching? What is this? Sweet tooth. Oh, I haven't Netflix. seen that yet. Yeah, it's like kind of like takes place like some sort of pandemic crazy thing happens. Yeah. And then like humans are like fused with animals. Yeah. So like, yeah. Whoa. And uh, these are like special like creatures and people go to like hunt them. Bro, I I have not been able to sit down and watch a good series all the way through. I am fighting to find time to do. I cannot wait till this tour is over so I can sit down and just binge. I'm I'm gonna be one of those people that go on vacation just to watch TV. Cause I, I can't used to do that. I, I can't not in a nice that. hotel. I used yeah. to do that. I can't, I can't do it in town. Like it's something always comes up. I was in town all this week, and I've been out all this week. Every night this week, I went out. Mm -hmm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and tonight I'm going out. Yeah, I'm tired. Shows, talking something. I, 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 today's my day off. I'm tired. I'm, I did shows all weekend. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. And I was like, "What can I watch? <laughs> I want to watch something." All right, let's let's let's. What we got, Pat? All right, I'm gonna let you guys pick uh, out of the, the the last ones. Okay, so we did Fountain of Youth. Um, there's the, the classics Bigfoot and Loch Ness. Mm -mm. We got transhumanism. I don't know what that oh, is. Which isn't what you think. Uh, we got uh, MK Ultra mind control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we got uh, Antarctica. That's always a good time. And we have uh, an abandoned U.S. military complex that is used by the Illuminati. Let's go with that one. Okay. So I was like, that maybe I could get a plug in that. Who can I try? Trying to, trying to get, would you be in the Illuminati if they offered? It depends what I had to do. Kill goats, uh, poison the youth. Is it a family member that we Is have it to either kill or? that we don't You got to cover your eye a lot in photos. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do if this if it's just the goat part, I could do the goats. You don't but like goats? I don't like really like goats. What's there, baby goats? I don't want really to give a fuck about baby goats either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that called? Veal? What, what? No, that's, yeah. that's shit. Oh, you might have to get yeah, effed in the butt. By who? The butt, butt. Yeah. Or do you have to get Jay Z? I don't know. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> no, that's a bad idea. Oh, I might <laughs> like Jay Z. Jay -Z me but let's go. <laughs> Is Beyonce watching? Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if, if actually Beyonce was watching, I would actually do it even more. Yeah, you I'm know? like, all right, girl. Oh, right, girl, girl, like, I'm going to yeah. perform for you. Yeah. you know? That'd be crazy. Uh, I'm like, if I ever roll up the park, girl. Okay. Jay Z had to smash uh, women in the butt, and Beyonce has to smash men in the butt. That's how you get it. She's pegging men? Yeah, that's how I'm you get it. I'm here for all of this. So, oh my God, I don't see anything wrong with any of these You get that, gold, like you get that gold card with a pyramid and an eyeball on it. You're just like, mm, thank you, Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> you cover your eyes. <laughs> all right, so, um, all right, so there is an abandoned U.S. military complex in North Dakota, which I low-key don't think is a real place north dakota <laughs> i don't even you know, I, don't, I don't think north and Why? south dakota i've never met anybody from either one of those places i have, I have. <laughs> yes i have i have you said My what? Girl is... it's from where shut Ooh. up i don't even think he remembers <laughs> he, said, he says pittsburgh. He's like, i'm california now <laughs> black and yellow pittsburgh no i'm just playing um but um apparently uh this would look like oblique obliques let me see Ooh. obliques okay Obliques. Okay, so this is the um, east oblique of a missile site control building, um, and uh, okay, so this is called the Stanley R. Mickelson Safeguard Complex. Mm. This is in North Dakota. It's super weird looking, and it looks like a pyramid with the the top cut off. You saw right. that part? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is weird. I don't. I still don't get the obsession with us and pyramids, but. Um, uh, it's, it says there's uh, circumstances surrounding it that are really strange. Naturally, it is the subject of a bunch of conspiracy theories. The safeguard complex is an anti-ballistic missile defense system, 
uh, during the Cold War era. Mm. Um, it was used as a bargaining chip with Russia during the Cold War. Congress voted to shut it down a day after it opened in 1975, which is the biggest waste of money ever. Um, but it remained operational um, until the next year, 1976. It remains Wait, standing. You said it closed after a day that it opened. It shut down. Shut down. Congress voted it to uh, sh to shut shut it down a day after it opened. Okay. Um, which I bet is you weird. It's a portal. Well, I don't know what it is, but it's weird that Congress shut it down in October 1975, but it re remained operational until February of 1976. It says it remains standing today in the middle of nowhere in North Dakota, and because of its shape. It resembles the eye of Providence. You know, the $1 bills that have the pyramid and the mm -hmm. eyeball on it? Yeah. I didn't know that was what it was called. Um, but some people uh, believe that it's actually uh, used by the Illuminati Secret Society um, because that's basically, it's almost like this is the place they were talking about on your dollar. Like, mm -hmm. like that, that looks like it. That's what I'm saying. So they're saying that it was, all this stuff was made to, to build it. It was shut down immediately. And that was over 40 years ago. So people just think that it's still there. Illuminati's out here meeting up, doing yeah. eyeball stuff. You know, yep. Jay-Z's smashing eyeball people stuff. in Because the pyramids are, are, are a source of power, like yeah. energy, and they focus it there. And it's like, yeah. I, you ever seen the movie Stargate? No. Yeah. You see Stargate when mm -hmm. they had like it was like these portals. Her Russell on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's like certain objects is used as portals to other other dimensions or different timelines and stuff yeah. like that. I believe all of that shit. It's, that means something. It has you don't just to. you don't just yeah, build somebody, something yeah. a certain way like that. Be like, oh, I like pyramids. You just know, the same thing yeah. with the dragons. Like, how are all of these folk tales from different parts of the world that didn't have any contact with each other talking about all the same things? All of them said. There were dragons. All of them said that there were angels and things that came, you know, from, from machines sky, from yeah. the sky, yeah. and they had all this technology. But the weirdest thing is that in Mexico, in Egypt, in Machu Picchu, like all mm -hmm. these random places, there was no phones, no nothing. All of them decided to build a uh, religious pyramid. Some of them were square form, some of them were triangle. But um, the big ones are also perfectly aligned with certain so, stars yeah. and, and and certain like celestial mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. And, and even like stuff like Stonehenge. So it's just like how not not only like why are they doing all this stuff, but why are all these civilizations also mm -hmm. like they have all this text about these these things that help them, you know, yeah. all of these, you know, you can see all of these like um, figurines and things of like spacemen with helmets, helmets and, and stuff. stuff the and creepiest them. one, I saw this on Ancient Aliens. I watched, that's my show. I was about to tell there you about that. One, I don't get how there's so many seasons though. you think that they'd have one solid <laughs> episode where they give you all the information. Nope, they're like, we got eight more seasons. <laughs> <laughs> what didn't you say at first? But they, there was literally a map that they found that wasn't, it wasn't like how to get to this way far away star it was how to get to earth from that star it was like some far away like let's say like sirius or whatever the fuck the stars are named it was like um a, a map that came from behind that star and it told you how to get to earth which is like you could always make up like this is how you go from earth to here earth to here but like backwards was just like who did that? Who yeah. gave you that? Just like, I don't know if you saw the episode when they was like, yeah, like all the texts, all the, you know, every religion always has a story of angels coming down from the heavens. It, no matter how you, what religion is always that. Yeah. And they're right. like, what if it was really aliens? And we, exactly. they thought it was uh, yeah, angels, angel. but it's really aliens. In the Bible too. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, they came down and because you see it descending from the sky, you're like, right. oh my God, it must be an alien. But like, if you didn't have the internet talking about aliens with a bunch of people, you would describe it how you would exactly. think to describe it. So there, yeah. it would be like a chariot drove down from the sky and I think it was an angel, but it's just like, is that a metaphor or were you just describing what happened in how the only way that you exactly. could because yeah. they they described um atom bombs back then they said like a big mushroom would roll out or a scroll would and, and it was just like what exactly did they see yeah <laughs> yeah right that's the that's the creepy part because it seems like they're just describing it with their own metaphors yeah and if you like you gotta watch a uh ancient uh what's it called ancient alien yeah yeah that it is it, it blow your mind and smoke some weed while you, you watch it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cool on the weed. For you a while. trip out. You be like, this shit is true. <laughs> I knew it. So I knew it. Did y'all know that there is actually a secret chamber on Mount Rushmore behind Abraham Lincoln? Yup. Yeah. National treasure. National treasure. Yeah, but it's not just like it's not just like natural national treasure. But there is an actual room there. It's an 18 foot door. 18 foot door. Um, the chamber, I think, was finished on 
Halloween in 1941. Uh, it was, it was finished on Halloween? Effort. Yeah. It's, it's a random project. I know, right? The 14-year effort. Uh, or maybe that was just the Mount Rushmore that was finished on then, but nope. That means somebody was like, We need to have it finished by Halloween. I have things because I need that's to when do. the veil is that thin. exactly that's when it's open for me to do my ritual. The rituals. veil is thin. It's 75 feet in length and <laughs> like approximately 35 feet tall. The ceiling is 35 feet tall. Um, they hold records they, and shit, right? It's supposed to be hold records, supposed like the to. constitution like and stuff Rich. like that. Y'all remember that in Richie Rich, and they had that whole like Mount Rushmore, but it was like the family. There's a lot yeah, of pop, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of pop ref references to like real disturbing mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, I always. I that actually was, it has like a giant eagle statue yeah. or something in there, right? I yeah, they say it's just it's just like they say it, they downplay it on here. Say it's not as like. Glamorous as they make it to be, yeah. So, so you don't go looking for the shit, but yeah. But it's also behind Mount Rushmore, like records. Like you, you gonna climb Mount Rushmore? Yo, and be like, also, oh, here's this paper. Oh, some real for shit, this. yo. At some point in time in my life, I want to start being like Nicolas Cage, and I'm gonna go look for some shit. <laughs> I will go on Mount. I'll be like, yo, Pat, you wanna go to Mount Rushmore real quick? I'd be thinking I, mean, I want well, to do that and like treasure hunt. And stuff. I want a treasure hunt, but it's but like then you need to start at the Denver airport. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a we whole covered that. Yeah, yeah. Conspiracy. yeah it's, it's creepy. What do you mean? What? So what? there's this whole conspiracy. Like the Queen of England apparently even owns land at Incredible. this peak in Denver. Denver, there was nothing wrong with the airport before, but they built this new airport in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. You know how far it is from the city. Mm -hmm. And even so, there's supposed to be all these silos like under the people that had built this airport, they had to sign an NDA. So there are all these tunnels, and they even make light of it. Even the original murals that were throughout the airport depicted a... It's a big horse outside that's yeah, supposed to be a homage Lucifer. to uh, the four horsemen and yeah, all types it's, of shit. Lucifer, mm -hmm. Okay, so even the thing with Lucifer, like the original... Uh, yeah, that's what they call him there. So his eyes light up red. Oh, the horse? The horse. So even in the when they were erecting it, like putting it up, erecting it, it <laughs> fell on the original sculptor and killed him. Yes. And so the even so the Mustang. murals throughout, I think I have some in my phone, depict like an Armageddon. So there are kids like there's this whole like the, like it's this new world order. They used to have like these plaques in the ground that will talk about this new world order. And when you would Google it, nothing would come up. And so people started to like really it's like a destination point. And so they had taken a lot of the murals out, but then they left a couple that were like kind of near baggage claim. So one time I went to investigate and I literally had to <laughs> go through like Magnifying go lines. out in the baggage claim to go through, and they have like walking tours that tell you the stories of these. Um oh, they have tours about the conspiracies? Yeah. Even the oh, staff is like, this is fucked up. Yeah, no, they, so, they, the, the CEO of the airport said. Rather than try to fight, because I I did the research on this one too. Yeah. Rather than try to fight all of the the conspiracy theories, they just embrace it. Yeah. yeah have so fun it, with it. Because I mean, that's gonna like you're gonna pay for yeah. a lot of uh food so while you're like, doing all it's that. It's like this whole like it's images like. Oh yeah. This, oh I, I no I love this conspiracy. There's okay then, so there's like, people can dying. We, can we eight. like uh, you want to you want to hear it? you want to yeah. dive in? All right, so here's eight conspiracy theories about the Denver airport that will freak you out. We should go as a group. We should. I'm just saying, like, can we? Are, I was, you took the words right out of my mouth. Can we go? Really, with, a, with a checklist of all this stuff. Yes, I want to go find some stuff. I think because like, I think we can find why, it. Why is the sky on fire? Why are the kids in? Plastic? I really think we could find some shit. Like I think we can we could figure this out. That's Lucifer. All right. So here's the number He's one demonic. thing. All right. So like Dom said, an insane amount of money went into building it, and not everyone is sure how it was spent. So when the Denver Inf International Airport opened, this was back in '95. Uh, construction had fallen 16 months behind schedule, $2 billion over budget. The final cost was $4.8 billion. No one knows what it went towards. The airport itself is 35,000 acres, which is almost twice as large as the next biggest U.S. airport. So no one really knows where the funds went to, but it, went, it was behind and went way over budget. But it's just kind of a regular ass big airport. Number two, the airport's runways literally look like a swastika. Now the crazy Shut thing. Shut the hell up! No, so here's the crazy thing. Yeah. The, the, okay, so the Nazis as uh, are probably one of the most um, craziest and interesting conspiracy theories because when you read about them in history, you just you hear about the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they they're like such a big society. Like there's there's um 
there's basically like a conspiracies about them going to Antarctica. Mm -hmm. Like there's yep. it, it, so it they're like Hydra. A, there's like a lot. Well, I mean, I think they it wasn't Hydra based off of Nazis. I feel like Hydra is based off of the Nazis. In there's some way, like so. they, they they did so much stuff, and their their Nazis whole thing is subliminal messaging. So if you look down on it, even though it seems like why would you even do that, it does look like a swastika from the aerial um, aerial view because they're all about subliminal messaging. So it says um, this is not a typical formation for an airport's runways. Um, a representative said that the runways are designed that way so that they can be used simultaneously no matter what the weather condition. Um, um, and they said that we think it actually looks like a pinwheel, not a swastika. So there's that. So the plaques that you were talking about, it says the airport's dedication stone has imagery from a secret society. The, the Masons? You see that? That look like Freemasons. That, that is the Mason symbol. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's, that's straight up the Mason symbol. That's no longer um, there either. Really? Yeah. It says that um, this was put in in 94 and a capstone was placed inside the airport to uh, memorialize it. The dedication stone displays the Masonic symbol of a compass with the capital G inside. And then it also says New World Airport Commission, mm -hmm. which it is don't exist. wild as hell, like New World Order. And then it says, what is the New World Airport condition? <laughs> airport officials have said that it was a commission uh, for the New World Airport but the wording calls to mind the New World Order conspiracy. New World Order conspiracies believe that there's been a small group of powerful people working together in a secret throughout history as, uh, toward establishing a single, all-powerful global government. Um, the Masonic symbol ties into this conspiracy. Freemasonry is very real. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a fraternal society that's allegedly the largest in the world and have uh, existed as far back as the Middle Ages. Um, it says that since this uh, secret society has had many powerful members throughout history, people have been long suspicious that the Freemasons were looking to seize power. Mm -hmm. um, and then it also says that uh, if you point it out, uh, if you add up the numbers in the airport's dedication date, you get 33, which is reportedly the highest level of Freemasonry. So there's mm -hmm. just like a lot of symbolism in that. Didn't Jesus die at 33, though? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 33 is just the overall wild number. And I think yeah. that's how many pieces of silver? Um... Judas got? Yeah. He got 33? Mm -hmm. It's a random price for a person. Uh, symbolism. Um, You think they knew symbolism like back then though? Like, I, yeah, I'm gonna absolutely. pay you. Because I think that's what mostly it was for them. Like they didn't have like the, all the extra shit that we have now that people be focusing on. So like Freemasons killed Jesus basically? Look. I'm I'm not trying to be abducted from my house tonight, okay? I'm moving on. <laughs> I all what up, I'm mate? saying is it do, damn it that you scary needs to go on some conspiracy Hair trips we i'm need, down we let's do to that shit. Bunk some shit. this is the scary one though some people think there is a mysterious network of underground bunkers beneath the there airport are. uh and it says it revolves around uh many lie beneath the airport a former airport construction worker claimed that the reason why the airport was so far behind schedule was because five multi-story buildings were built underneath the airport hold on Y'all talking about Denver? Yep. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Course, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why do I not know about that? Have you seen the murals in there? Yeah. No, oh, yeah. That's, 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 my that's coming up. I've been to Real quick, oh. we got CP in the building, y'all. What up, what up, what up, uh, hey, 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 They also hey, got a fake Mayan ruins in there for no so, reason. Yeah. What? Yes, they have a fake rendition of the Mayan ruins in that airport as well for absolutely no reason at all. It's very weird. A lot of, like, um... They have like these people in this mural coming to get these children from like there's like this big disease and everybody's wearing a mask and yeah and I mean it's like they have like gas masks yep. on and it seems very like preemptive like you know of course they got the different mask and all of that but yeah and they burning all the kids yep. it's fucking crazy and then I yeah. think they covered it up like put, yeah they, you know, yeah so look, they always Coca Cola like, and, 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 and now when you go like yeah, what does that, that mean doing a complete no, renovation like it don't exist at all anymore and that's what I'm saying they throw shit in your face blatantly so you could be like this can't be real they gonna say be true it's titled in peace and harmony with nature yeah and so what happens is. These are messages for people who understand what's going on. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So, like, we're missing it, but it's like a big calling card. Imagine if it was billboards for the New World Order that we never even seen because uh -huh. we've, we've seen them every day. But yeah. We never realized this mural is a part of right, right, this right. agenda. You know what I'm saying? Or this, yeah, yeah. bro. Like, you ever uh, wrote uh, uh, "Red Behold a Pale Horse"? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, read it, but I, I heard about read, it. Like, I, definitely didn't I read, read it. Cover, it. Cover, <laughs> cover, <laughs> the back cover. I've read cover to cover inside everything, like. That is ridiculous. What is that? It's like a it's like a zombie Nazi. Yeah. If, you, yeah, if yeah, you haven't if you haven't read it, read Behold the Pale Horse. Okay. It will everything we talk about, everything's in that book. Things that's happening now, 
the, the man who wrote that book back in, I think it was 86, mm -hmm. he was killed after he wrote the book. Mm. I mean, that's what always that a telltale yeah. sign, right? Like, like, why you die if you write some deep shit, nigga, stay safe. By, if you die, you just you just solidify by everything. unmarked yeah. by yeah. unmarked what is that, cops. Like George, George Orwell's uh, what is it? Nineteen. Uh, when when the aliens was coming and it was like uh, um, yeah, not animal. Oh, I love Animal Farm. Uh, mm -hmm. but it's like, uh, what's the name of that book? Because George Orwell has a book like that too. They included a quote from a child who died at Auschwitz. Why? What does the quote say? 1984 is the book. <laughs> help, nigga. That's what it said. <laughs> help me. That's help that's me. Why do you want to quote? Why are and, you and, getting and my quote? It's even funnier oh. now that like it's a part of their marketing. When you go to the Denver airport, like they have marketing that jokes about this shit. So the horse killed somebody. Yeah, I, of, I just of, told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me that. It looks creepy as fuck. Big ass red eyes. You see yep. it when you taking off. It's like what yep. the fuck? Like a big yep. ass. It's like oh the Broncos. We just like everything makes us make an excuse, right? right. Yeah. yeah. Think about this. The city of Denver is a mile high. Don't forget. Yep. What Which you mean? mean? That's the mile high city. That's why the altitude is so, so high. high. Yeah. That's why the air is different. Yeah. You watch football football players. Games, yeah. They, be, they got a lot yeah. of yeah. struggling after they do shit. Right. Yeah. The city is already a mile high. What a great setting for something to be under it. It's exactly. supposed to be like the it's one something of the under it, the regular peaks. cities. You think a mile high city, nigga, it's it's probably Damn. Lit. Yeah. That's I didn't think all, about that. That's yeah. all, they said five story buildings were built yeah. underneath. Think but also it. it went two billion dollars over budget. No one knows why. It was late and no one knows why. Yeah. Why does the Queen Obviously, of England no, we know have why. a property? Yes. Have a property. Why? Wait, what? The, the Queen, Queen of England, England has, has a small little crib over there. Yes. In Denver or no, in Denver, right around the airport. Yep. Like in Denver, Why? On do you the think it's areas? like it's That's like really it's scary. like where it's like where everybody will come? In, in time of need, and they're like, "Come here." Well, that's what I think. That's why it's supposed to be like that. Like yeah. the the bunkers and all yeah. that stuff under there. Like, and it's like the highest peak in the country. So let's say we get wiped out on the East Coast because, it, and and it's like if let's say things we get flooded out, Denver won't flood. That's anything underground is Listen, scary. Right, so. but just understand though, like people, like why is a city a mile high and it's hard to breathe up there and what's mm -hmm. the point? But also too, it's like here's how I imagine it going. If you're an elite, you fly into Denver, maybe on a on a connection, mm -hmm. right? You fly into Denver, you've been told to go to some door next to the bathroom that mm -hmm. door leads to an elevator that nobody knows about, mm -hmm. and you're off. And it's like so you land at this airport and then you just kind of just disappear. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so, you know, you talk about, you know, they talk about all the missing people and all, all the maps associated with caving systems in that area. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, if, if you could get a, a a missing person to a plane and on a flight to Denver, I mean, they could be gone. Yeah. I never heard anything about Denver before That's about crazy. this. Man. So well, you know what's creepy? My told me that one day we was like, when I worked at Sex, and I'm like, I've been intrigued ever since. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going. I'm going. So have you seen the? Oh, the, I went. I went. Yeah, there is a fake Mayan ruins. I'm like, what the fuck is this doing? Yeah. Here? you're just eating Chick Fil A, and it's like, <laughs> yeah. a big ass piece of pyramid right here. It's yeah, like, yeah, it, for it, real. It, it, it really I, I legit want to like. That's what I want to do. I want to like go and like check out all the conspiracy theories and like. I just want to go. That like, shit dangerous. Well, okay, think about it like this. America we, was we got built. Guns. You said you said the Queen of England. Yeah. had had a place out here. If you think about it, over there, who who came over here and pretty much stole America? Europe, right? Yeah. And if you think about Europe. There are places that are known for having elaborate underground areas, like catacombs and stuff. Like yeah. London and all these places have really extensive underground things. So it's already a thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's creepy because we were, um, I think this was on Damn Internet, You Scary Once. There is a funny story. Well, it's kind of creepy, but it's also funny. They went down into those catacombs in once. Paris? Yeah, and they found, like, a man cave. Somebody, like, group of people set up, like... Um, like movie a movie theater, theater yeah, so. all these things, snacks, all this stuff. And people came down there and they went to get the police. And when they came down, everything was gone. And a note said, you'll never find us. Shit like that. But they were just chilling. Maybe. Maybe. But like, a lot of people I say mean, that. Watching movies, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people say the secret meetings and also like trafficking. That's like a big yeah, thing for these yeah. underground things. It's just like hella trafficking. Because it's like, if if it were just meetings and stuff, like, you could probably just get a secret house, right? Here's what I'll say, though. Here's what I'll say. Just to piggyback off of that. Let's just make this a rule of thumb. If it's feasible, physically possible, and will help the elite, 
it's, it's happening. Exactly. Yeah. Why would you know it? What I'm saying? Exactly. Like, why would it not be? That's why when we talk about that whole blood stuff, I'm like, they doing that. Yeah. No, they gonna do sure. whatever they can I to mean, stay you immortal. Those facials though, like they had to stop those facials because somebody had like given somebody like AIDS to one of those facials where they was like mm-hmm. putting the blood in the uh, face. You weren't here for yeah. that. So we were we were talking about. <laughs> I mean, so, it's so feasible. Like, yeah, give yeah. me give, give me some blood right here. Like, no, well, yeah, what AIDS, we were talking about it. there it's were the there were actual experiments that have been going on since the 1800s where they would cut animals together like. And, and like fuse them together and oh, see yeah, if they can match make, the, yeah. the the blood. And they would basically have a, a younger rat with an old rat and see if the young rat uh, blood can affect the old rat. And it worked. It was basically like slowing down the aging part of yeah. the old part. But the problem is, is that they didn't really report on the negative effects. Like it was killing the younger part too. Right. But they basically, science ran with that. And now the FDA had to officially um, drop uh, a warning to say like, stop, people need to stop like, T- putting young blood inside themselves. I wouldn't want to be that immortal, was officially though. on, huh? I wouldn't want to be immortal. But you, but you, if you were rich and you were controlling everything, you'd want to live to like 150. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, humans get on my goddamn nerves. Yeah. Well, they, well, not us. Unless, unless people. I'm 150 and I still look 50. You know, that's the only way. I would, I mean, they old I and think... white. They're gonna look 90. They're gonna like look 90 years. years. Not them. I'm talking about me. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> we're gonna be 50. And you I gonna do look it. like that. I would like my consciousness uploaded to where I could be some kind of half AI, half. Um, Ooh, you're gonna you be love like the next one. You're gonna love the next one. Okay. You want to be Robocop? No, well, I mean, but if that means that I could be here, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't want to miss shit. Like PlayStation 12, it's like, nigga, what? Why did I not? You know what I'm saying? Why did I not almost get the surgery? I'm here now. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, you know. <laughs> Are right, we gonna do a switch? Uh, have you, yeah, yeah, right, do it right here. Oh, okay. Like, Tag out, Dom. Shit. All right. I just walk right in and start conspiracizing. What's up, brother? Conspiracizing. I like that. That's some new shit I'm trying out. Yo, that shit's Merging dead. words, because I feel like the younger like word might make the older word. word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Rejuvenize. You know what I'm saying? Merging words. I'm not right. using that shit. Well, now the CP's here. Should we redo another song or just keep going? Let's conspiracy. keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. going, keep going I ain't had no freestyle bars, but... <laughs> All right. There's nothing topping what happened early. I'm sorry. No. That, was... <laughs> that was once in a lifetime. It's just... All right. <laughs> So, since you were talking about downloading shit, mm-hmm. I gotta talk to you guys about transhumanism. Okay, don't don't yeah you know, don't don't freak out. It's has nothing to do with any of that. that it's like, like I'm a freak, but chill out. You know <laughs> Is it like no. turning animals into humans? No. Okay. So basically, um, things things about to get a little crazy. So we're about to basically lose the ability for phones. So. Technology has kind of been weaning us off very, very slowly of the classic phone. For, first, we had phones with first we had well, first we had computers. Now we have mm-hmm. little computers, and then it, they took away the buttons and just ha- gave us the home button. Then they like completely took the buttons away. Mm-hmm. Think about it; it's like very, very gradual. Then they made it so you really don't need these. Now they're t- t- talking about watches and 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 glasses. I just heard that the patent for um, a contact. contact with yeah. a battery just passed. Shut the hell up! Yes. That, but, that's a show. That's from that's Hey, that's, that's where it's going to be for me. Black I don't like touching my eyes, and no contacts have ever fit me unless they come out with an <laughs> XL. <laughs> you need a magnum contact? Like, right. <laughs> 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 you need somebody to come on. All right, sir. I'm like, thank you. So they're basically saying that they can um, basically attach all of the, the, the things that are firing off in our brains directly to a cloud, the, uh-uh. the cloud of information. Uh-uh. So they're basically strategizing about future investments and technologies such as artificial intelligence. And while many of these trends will make for solid investments over the next five to 10 years, fewer companies are considering the revolutionary uh, convergence of uh, trends pulled from technology. Um, so basically, uh, Visionary Innovation Group looked at three fundamental pillars of humanity and how they will evolve over the next 10 to 15 years. Our bodies, our thought, and our behavior. After identifying the driving forces that will transform these fundamental pillars, we extracted key themes emerging from their convergence. Ultimately, the goal was to determine the ways in which the changing nature of humanity Mm -mm. and transhumanism would affect individual society, businesses, and government. So number one, our bodies will be augmented. Mm -mm. The coming years will usher in a number of body augmentation capabilities that will enable humans to be smarter, stronger, and more capable than we are today. Uh, wearables will be one form of body aug- augmentation. Um, it will 
far surpass the fitness trackers of today. In the future, we can expect the arrival of contact lessons, contact lenses that can take pictures or video, mm -mm. universal language translator earbuds that allow us to communicate anywhere in the world, and exosuits that increase our actual physical strength. Exosuits? Exosuits. We've been needing that, though. Yeah, we've been needing yes. that for show. Sure. Like, yeah. bringing all the waters in from the store. Like, exosuits. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give me eight, nine of them. You know what I'm saying? But wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nah. Here's the thing. How am I going to watch porn somewhere secretly in public if I got to just make a big ass Janet Jack me in the middle of my hand? No, no, like, no. Like, you put it in the contact. Would, you'd, just be, you'd just be like this. Yeah. And you'd be watching porn. So then now, now I'm going to have to register myself as a sex offender because I'm going to be watching porn <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, that's too much like uh, Black Mirror. I don't like that, man. I, not, Skynet is real. Y'all keep playing. No, everybody's joking about it and it's actually keep happening. Playing. Yeah. Like they going to take over. I'm going to be like Will Smith. I want no robots in my house. Right. I want none of that. Like y'all keep putting that shit out there. And like they, we making movies out of it to like, like to blind you with it, mm -hmm. like to be I'll like get you comfortable with it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So when it happens, they were like, "All right, cool." Just like, like you ever seen the movie Demolition Man? Yeah. So in Demolition with, Man, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, nah, Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, Sylvester Stallone so and uh, Wesley Snipes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so they don't have phones. They have. Um, Is he blind in that? Yeah, he yes. was. He was. Okay. He was. Yeah, yeah. Like Golden Lord yeah, he was. Yeah. He was. <laughs> but they didn't have no phones. It was all like video, like uh, like how uh, like Meta phones with, with video Facebook, that, yeah. like now is like. In AI world, like everything is just like it's happening. It's mm -hmm. ha I'm not putting nothing in my eye. No nope. side note, though, nope. for all our Patreon, you can make sure you go to uh, the Scary Squad. You can go to the Patreon, and the link for the Scaryoki from last year is actually up. So, Boom. While, while we got a big number of people in here, I think it's like 1300 people in here. Nice. If you're part of the Scary Squad, you can go to the Patreon and, and view Scaryoki for last year. It was a lot of fun. Scaryoki. Right there, I feel like um, I was robbed. I did a whole bone song. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Stop looking at my dick. <laughs> I, um, Twitter, Twitter has been um like like logging me out to make me log back in. I guess they like have upped that a lot. And like every time it happened, I was like, fuck, I got hacked. Like every single time I had to log into one of my social media platforms. No, I didn't change it, but like I, I feel like they would they when they update their terms and agreements and that every so often now they just like log you out to make sure you have to check back in. Yeah. What the hell did they add? I have no idea. What is this? But to this force Twitter. you back into it. Yeah, I don't know. But I, I just every time I have to log into one of my social medias or or a Patreon or something, I'm like, oh shit, we got hacked. Like immediately I just mm -hmm. think that. Immediately, I mean, and I got two-way factor on everything. YouTube, and they hack everything. So why couldn't they hack a brand new technology like brain stuff? Because you know, because somebody gonna want to do it. Somebody gonna be like, I bet y'all can hack that bitch's eye. I want to see what she's <laughs> ah, doing. Ah, that bitch's <laughs> eye. But look, but, look to, but the past point though, like, like even with the cars though, like, I got a Tesla. I walk up to it, the doors open. Mm -mm. Like I sit down and I just go. I don't have to turn the car on. Like it, it. it do you go to sleep and drive? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not that comfortable yet. Yeah, for real. A couple months. Not about <laughs> couple of months. <laughs> you know what I'm but it's like, dog. Like, I don't have to do any. I don't have to touch anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's creepy as. Like, fuck. I don't have to drive if I don't want to. If, if I'm on the highway, I could just. You know what I'm saying? It's like. We are getting there. Oh, That's yeah. All of that was it's on Demolition there. Man. Oh, yeah. All of that. Even, Terminator. Remember, remember Demolition Man? One thing they had that me and my dad always like, man, we need that now. Remember when he got into the car accident and that foam yes. mm -hmm. just took over his body so he couldn't break anything? They got watch that Elon. on the helmets. Watch, watch they, Elon come out with that shit. They got, yeah. they got that in the helmets now. Like, that, remember the helmet? You just did a video on it. Like, when you fall backwards in the oh, helmet. Oh, the airbags. The airbags. Yeah, right, airbags. but this was like the a foam. foam. Yeah, I know exactly. It, it yeah. put you in like, so you know how your PlayStation come in that foam? You got to take the foam or a new TV. It put you in that. Mm-hmm. And they, they act them out of it too. Yeah, they, they but, but here's my thing though. Here's my only thing right there. Let's say that you are driving late at night, right? And you hit something or a deer or something like that. And that phone explodes like that. They had to pull him out. If the car catches on fire, you can't get out of that fucking phone. I would imagine oh. the phone being fire flame retarded, though. I think that they, you know what I'm saying? Not, not to mention. She's going to be warm until they come. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, no. turn me over. Stop you know it. Could these be evil. <laughs> turn me over. Flip these, me. Are, these aren't even gas cars anymore. <laughs> right. So, the, the, Oh, would they catch fire then? The combustion would be a little different. It would, it would be a little different, but a battery explosion still could happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Electrical, right fire, electrical fire still could happen. Too. Not to mention, what if you got your dog in the car? Now your dog's in the phone. Well, what if you get some head? What if you get some head? Now the bitch, everything, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. and it's she compressed. Her, her, her mouth is stuck on there. And, and you oh. and, and, and get that, get that last eight <laughs> Ah, that might, they that got the jaws work. of life. You're like, not yet, not yet. Save me, a, <laughs> save me in two minutes. She got the jaws of life. Hold on, right. hold on. Well, no, 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 no. The phone went yeah, in the nose, first. so you got to get soft, or she can't breathe. Oh, you oh. hey. a shit like none. Got her life. Now you're like, I am your captain now. <laughs> she trying to push your dick out with her tongue. Uh, yeah. uh. <laughs> Get out! Yeah. All right, whatever you're doing is working. I'm not trying to turn you off, nigga. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the three seashells to come true on demolition, man. I don't know what <laughs> we can get rid of toilet uh, paper when that happens. The three seashells. Yo, <laughs> I, I, I still at least twice a month get pissed that they didn't close that off. But I don't know what the three no, seashells. No, but they did. show it a good like this. They just show it real quick. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta rewind it. The they what? Show, the, the three seashells. Because they always say, what's the three seashells? How do you use the three seashells? They show it? They sh You have to. It's a glimpse. Because he, he goes back and he goes, the three, I don't know how to use the three seashells. No, they show them. But they, that's it. They don't show they you don't, how to use it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, like, I still be like, you know yo, like, that's a problem. It's all, it's all the movie uh, Demolition. Oh, because there was a new way to wipe paper. your ass. They, and it was just three seashells. Because like, <laughs> you don't get it? And they were like, what the fuck? Cause he goes to the back. He's like, "Hey, you guys are out of toilet paper back there. I don't know if you know that." He was like, "Toilet paper? What's? We don't use that." He's like, "I just see some three seashells." And he's like, "Yeah, we use three seashells." And they never explained how to use it. That's funny. <laughs> never. Like, was it like a bidet? Joke. Maybe it was a bidet. I think yeah. it's. I think it's like a bidet. It's probably you hit like a button. Hot, cold, you know, yeah. or, or, or soapy water, rinse water, and then dry. Yeah, yeah. maybe that's what that yeah. was. Yeah, maybe I like to think that. 
That's I how like I took it. You still gotta, you still gotta get them corners though. You gotta get, you gotta get something uh, against that. that corners. You gotta spread the cheeks. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta. Do something. I spread. Oh, I spread heavy ass cheeks. I be like this. I got a, I got a turtle ass. Trust me. I gotta use all four. The bidet will do. The bidet will do. Hey, I'm not booty listed. I'm not one of them niggas. <laughs> I'm booty delicious. Hey, it's a you booty delicious ass nigga. I'm like, God damn, fam. Nigga, I got nigga, the minimum. I got a Hank. Remember from Hank from King of the Hill? I got one of them ass. <laughs> one that, yeah. It's just yeah. back that goes yeah. into ass. I uh, have to spread both cheeks. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I what I what I typically do is like I position myself and then I slide on the toilet seat so the toilet seat holds one ass seat yeah. and then I just pull the other one like but oh, I have to yeah. do both because that, that's how it's that's horrifying you yeah. know what I'm saying you grabbing both your ass cheeks and spreading them for a warm spray it's fucking crazy every time every time I shit like that's some girl shit yeah. no nah, no nah, I don't do that I, I shit, shit like a lot times a day. I to shit wipe times a day. to wipe in the shower okay. That's too much shower. I drink a lot of protein shakes, girl. Like I'm, like I'm regular. Yeah, I'm three, regular. I'm three times a day. That's I'm at least much. twice. I'm, I'm regular at twice, but I feel like three times a day. I'm jealous. It, de- it, de- it depends Y'all on what I'm eating. Yeah. yeah, I might do three to five. Yeah, yeah wow. I do three. It depends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. three to five. Yeah. Is- yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm minimal too. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and minimal, minimal, too. Yeah, minimal too. Minimal, minimal too. too. Barbecue yeah. day. Hey, no, I, I enjoy, enjoy it. It's Smoothies. like a cigarette break. Yeah, I like yeah, it. I'll be like, yeah, oh, yeah, no, she yeah, 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 I yeah. love it. I and like with it. the phone, the phone has changed this. shit. Listen. The phone has changed shit. Shit, the shits are just, oh. I do emails. Yeah, listen. Nah, mm, girl, I, I'm, nah, like, I'm like, Pat, I go three to five. It's, I, it's a good I, will, I will shit for so long, I'll fuck around shit again while I was shit. Yep. Wow. I will You'll shit, I'll, I'll wipe, and then I'll still be reading something, and I'm like, fuck, that's you Round two. two. <laughs> yep. Yeah, absolutely. I Round two. Yeah, I, just, I just assumed that I wasn't done, and I and I let myself take my time. I never thought about it being yeah, I know, a yeah. double, uh, a like, second shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I always thought I was just like, all right, cool. It's the next session. Like, nah, I yeah, was you're taking, you, you ain't taking Siamese twin <laughs> shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. but now I can eat it twice as much. What's wow. your, what is your body? Like that. What is your body doing? Like that. that works like that. It like that. Why does your body work like that? Just like you know, like one one goes out and then you just hold. But I also take I take pills at night. Uh, like. Like uh, Sienna pills, oh, just shit to, pills. Yeah, just to keep you like I'm like I'm not trying to keep none of the, uh Sienna pills. Oh, you really backed up over there, like probiotics. You writing down the pill name? Though. Yeah, you just take, <laughs> <laughs> take it. I would prefer I don't like going at work, and it's like I get the, the dark roast coffee, and it makes me I'm like I don't want to go here. Oh man, like, green Larry. tea, dark man, roast. green tea. Get down on that me. Coffee, uh, I don't like green coffee tea. too. Green coffee, tea is... coffee, and alcohol loosen your bowels. Sure. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I, I, I'm like, uh, <laughs> Smoking does. <laughs> Shut your granny word using ass up. Loosen the bowels. <laughs> take the bowels and loosen them bowels. And then... <laughs> now you got the run. <laughs> Sally sale. <laughs> so I wasn't even roasting you, man. Yes, it was, nigga. The way you set it up is always a roast, CP. Oh, <laughs> Shout out to Sally sale, though. You know what I'm saying? It's going down tonight. Down tonight. That nigga Tonight killed that shit. Before auto-tune, he had to use his whole throat to do that. That nigga oh, just yeah. yell and yell. <laughs> that shit was lit, nigga. That's one of my favorite songs. Before auto-tune, it's go and down. He was all the way from the mic and said, Tonight, Tonight it goes down. Inspired auto-tune? Nigga, I was eight years old. Like, sing this shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, man, that was man, my that's shit, one of the man. best part about living in the Midwest, though. We got everybody's music. I had yeah. Sally Sale, Rapping Forte, Spice One, all of them niggas oh, from the Bay. Yep. And I, I was already, already listening to that shit before Spice I moved out here. here. I, I thought he was from the D. Nah, nah, he was from the yeah, East Bay, I, East Bay I, Gangster. Yeah, I know. I, I, I didn't realize that. Gangsta. I thought East Bay was in my city. Remember, <laughs> remember when you was a kid and you didn't realize that everything didn't revolve around your city or state? There you go. I used to yes. be like, Santa should be here any minute. I guess if... Uh, <laughs> If Jesus ah, comes back, I'm sure he'll be downtown. Santa, if Jesus comes back, Santa I'm sure. It like he flew over Detroit. He's like, Ugh. <laughs> 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 Rudolph, Rudolph. <laughs> all the presents, all the presents, all the all the presents off at the edge of Detroit. <laughs> first of all, first of all, let it be known. This is LA and St. Louis. Two also ghetto ass cities. Hey, LA. The hood is only half ghetto. 
Well, yeah, but hey, that, that, nah. that's a half Santa them business. Listen, listen. Hey, Santa, Santa, Santa brought y'all niggas Uzis and crack. I saw the real Santa. <laughs> I saw, look, he, he looked like a ghost, but he was Santa. And he was like, and he told me to go back to sleep. That was right. your drunk uncle. Nigga. No, he was white. That man was white. I don't got no white uncle. He was sleep and he let it go. Because he said he was saying I wanted his cousin. All right, all right. And then your whole household get raped. Right. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> he didn't get Lulu. Lulu <laughs> is a fucking accomplice to the fucking family rape. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he a ghost. He told me to shush. He said, yes, go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was Ricky LA. Smiley. That wasn't even Santa Claus. <laughs> Ricky Smiley? <laughs> Ricky Smiley? From, from Friday after next. Man. Oh, OK. I thought you just meant Ricky Smiley. Yeah, no, not like Ricky name. proper. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uzi's and crack, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and niggas was like, hey, thank you, Santa Cuz. Like, this is like, nigga, I'm happy to get the Uzi. Uzi's under the tree is hilarious. Hey, I swear to God, a nigga gave me three rocks to borrow my Tomb Raider 2. For two weeks on PlayStation One, and I remember Excuse like, me? what the fuck am I gonna do with three rocks? A kid, a yeah, kid, a kid. This kid named Reggie, he's in prison now, but I swear to God, <laughs> in Brightmore. Well, we in Brightmore, my homie Dante can attest three to this. Crack three crack rocks, three crack rocks. How much was crack going for? Ten. Mm. Okay, so, so thirty dollars. So thirty dollars. Thirty bucks. So- it was thirty to him, and so when he came back and got the game, when he came and brought the game back, I gave him the crack back. Like, well, nigga, I can't do anything with this, and if my mom finds it, she's gonna. I'm probably so he got a trouble. free game. He got a free game, but he, but he but just borrowed it. He just borrowed, borrowed it. I listen. I remember the crack was. Crack lateral. Yeah, crack, crack lateral. lateral. That was crack lateral. Nice. I remember when uh old girl got pregnant. I was 14 and she, she was about to have the baby in a couple months. And her dad was on some shit. And he was like, <laughs> this is how he talked. He was black, but he was he he talked like this. Hey Bobby, man, listen, I know you don't have a job right now, so I'm gonna give you this, man. He gave me a bag of crack. He was like, You sell this, all right, and you just give me back like 60% of everything you make, man, and you keep the rest, okay? You make sure that you got some money for when that baby comes, all right, buddy. That's exactly how man, he talked. He sounds so kind to be a he crack was, hey, person. Oh, I'd be a crack this lord. Thing, oh. This nigga was like. Like low key though, this nigga was the coolest thing. That was like a miracle very... on crack 44th Street. Oh, like. <laughs> <laughs> hey Bobby. <laughs> I was a crack worker. angel. I hey Bob Bob, here's some cracks. <laughs> But Listen. think about it. That's the best way to be a crack dealer. Like, you yeah. got to be inviting and enticing. Like, Yo, this hey, nigga was man. so cool, so calm, so inviting. And he was, like, very, like, like, like artistic. This nigga would do, like, poetry. He would rap. He would paint. Nigga was dope. Like, I wanted him as a dad. Might as the crack his shit. Like I'm going to tell you this to hear. He sound like a nigga who you do not want to not have that 60% for. Oh, 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 when oh, 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 he got a switch, Listen. Bob, Bob, I told you the rules. Listen, Bob, Bob, I, have to take I fucking finger. told you the rules. Such a calm Demeanor, but I know that nigga could choke some people out. Oh, he yeah. shook my hand one time. That nigga hurt my hand so bad, but I didn't want to show it. That nigga shook my hand with so much force. He was probably just like, was yeah, like, get that hey, 60%. Man. Yeah, but it was Bye, like... Bye, Bye, I crushed your hand because don't fuck with me. <laughs> Listen, he wasn't even six feet. He wasn't six feet, but that nigga forearm strength and that hand strength was something serious, not to be played with. So Popeye gave you all this weed. <laughs> no, crack. I mean, crack. My yes. bad. Back, I, but I didn't take it. I was like, I, I don't crazy. know what to do with that. I was like, that's more my uncle's lane. I don't do that. I just go to school. I've never seen crack. You really? Know, really? I have never it seen crack. It looked like crack chopped up pieces of soap. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's the thing. It wasn't even broke person. down. Like it was soap. just like, it was like a rock. He oh, gave me shoot. literally that rock. Like, I would have had to break it down. Oh, oh, I would have had to break it down myself. I'm like, nigga, I don't know that type of map. Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars. I told you, I saw crack. I've seen crack, but not in person. Why you say it like that? I told you, I saw crack. It was on a sandwich I had ordered. I ordered a club. I ordered a club sandwich. Okay, so how it happened? I was at my dude's house. I had let myself in. And I went to the bathroom and I picked up a CD case and I literally said out loud, I said, oh, Jeezy. And then I was like, okay, this is Jeezy, like young Jeezy, because he had like a mixtape out. So I'm like, oh, shoot, this is a burnt CD case. So I opened it and then I didn't know that something fell out of it. And it was a CD case disguised as a uh, a scale. Mm-hmm. It was a scale disguise as a CD case. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and so then I was like, well, what the f- hell fell out of this? And it, I hell? looked down and it was crack. Yeah, mm-hmm. my first boyfriend, it was in the he was a, a drug dealer. So I got to watch him make it. Back it up. <laughs> I'm not my kid. I was like, "There's something burning in here. What's that?" And he was like, "Sit your ass down." Yeah, for you fuck around and be a hype. Exactly. Now right. Yeah. You be like, I love when y'all cook. I love when y'all cook. And then you know you don't know what's wrong with you. Now you do stop. Yeah, and then you don't feel good until you have your right. I don't know. I mean, I hit it. That's how I start. Yeah. I hit it. <laughs> And I, I was I was the girlfriend that would like hide drugs in my chest, like when the police come and stuff like that. When, so how like, old was it? Were you sixteen? 
Yeah, I had a dad sold crack friends. when I was little. I yeah. sold crack a little bit. Really? A little, I almost a little, little, little crack a little bit. Like Not like that, miles, but nah, I just I made I I made one delivery. They told me to sit right there all day and one guy was gonna come and he yeah, he came, he had a car full of white bitches. And I served him, and then that was it. And I was done for the day. It was just he was that. dealing or doing? I don't know, because he it was a brown paper bag. I needed, like, <laughs> the exact amount of money that I was told to receive. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, straight up. I, so I was about, I had, so, a, I had a, Hey, <laughs> I ain't going to lie. The police rolled by, and I'm like, oh, fuck. They were like, get your ass in this goddamn crowd. Like, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> 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 I had a meeting set up. I thought they were on to us. I, I, thought, I, I had a meeting set up. I was supposed to start selling crack. And I was excited for you had a, uh, I had a meeting. meeting. I had By the way, meeting. I was I was like 10 or 12. I was not like, you know, so like, don't like fire me from HBO. Oh, no, I was like 19. <laughs> you had an interview? I, yeah, because I was about to go to Iraq. And I was like, I didn't know I was going to Iraq. And I was so like, you had to figure some shit I was out. like, I need some money, man. I need some real money. And my boy was like, you want to make some money? I was like, yeah. He's like, look at her face. And he was like, I'm yeah. you He's like, you for real, bro. And I was like, yeah. He's like, so, crack. You really want, you really want to get down? You, I was like, yo, set it up. Literally, I'm about to go to the meeting like the next week. Literally, after that, activated. I was like, damn, guy, you don't want me to sell no drugs? Did you want to go to Iraq? Okay, I'm going follow your plan. But you came back from Iraq. You would have came back from crack. You think they were at the interview with Iraq and I crack? They are at the interview like, where is she? It's 5'10". This is so unprofessional. They got a, a tie on on top of a t-shirt. I was in the mirror practicing like, I sell crack. This is no, no, so no, no, unprofessional. No. I want to sell crack. No, 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 no. You need me to sell. Like, Lulu came with her own briefcase crack. already. It's the briefcase I'm going to use. What you think? You start Monday. You don't like that? I got a satchel. I can hide it anywhere. You want to hide your book? Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm going to tell you something, though. Kids, don't 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 sell crack. I don't know. If we've said that because we were all talking about crack. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, you should. Hey, don't, don't sell crack. crack. Don't maybe sell don't. weed. Don't, don't sell, sell it. Don't do it. Maybe, it ain't. Maybe you don't, don't know. You you will not. You be hard pressed to find a lot of old drug dealers. Well, mm-hmm. not even that. People don't make it out of that look life. At, look no. at how dope our lives are. And mm-hmm. some shit like that. If I'd have got caught up in that, I wouldn't Oof. even have yeah. had a chance to live this. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Mm-mm. Man, yeah, I would not. Yeah, if I would have, I mean, I probably would have a different kind of puppetry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Hand up something else, ass. All right, nigga, now talk. Sell Block D, nigga. I didn't bid his since I was 12 years old. You know what I'm That's all I know is that. So, but low key, you be running the prison talent shows and shit. <laughs> You still be on the stage, somebody. You still be on the stage. Yeah. Right, I think we got time for one more, and then we gotta get ready to get up out of here. Oh, oh shit. Are we leaving? I know, man. Oh, I got to I got call time, guys. I'm so sorry. I literally, I thought I was supposed to be here at 11:30, and I put. I put nah, you good. Up. You good? That's okay. that's on me. No, that's on me to the people. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick, just to put a pin on the transhumanism, um, they were basically saying that the risks in the future are spying because you got people with contact lenses that can videotape you so you can just be like yeah yeah tell me more um oh you got really damn yeah you can get like spying on people is gonna be crazy but the craziest thing is there's risk of a quote stratified human race which is based on who can afford augmentations and those who cannot so now we have a human race literally (laughs) a human race split down the middle hell of people flying and exosuits and stuff and then just like regular humans and that's how society would be oh you know i'm gonna get all this shit and you know it's gonna be a little regular motherfucker made me feel guilty like you didn't even need all that (laughs) god made it i'm like shut up Yeah. <laughs> yo, if I could afford to fly, yo, I'm definitely gonna get that. Like, why would I want not fly? Yeah, you gonna sit car. in traffic? I'm gonna go fly. Right. Yeah, you look right. broke, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now hold on, wait. Before Pat gets into his my last story, XO suit. Before Pat gets his last story, I want to give you guys uh, a little update. Listen to the uh, Scary Squad. We apologize. Shit got crazy this year. All right, we had a lot of unfortunate deaths. Uh, schedules were crazy, so we fell off a little bit on the movie and the the um, chit chat and cereal. Yeah. But next year we got uh, a fucking amazing layout for you guys. So please, 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 if you can stick with us. Oh yeah. The world is opening back up. We had some shit planned with a travel agent that we were trying to do this trip. But we were sh- unsure about the certainty of what was going to be open, what wasn't going to be open, mm-hmm. who needed vaccinations, who could just get away with the car, um, one shot. So we didn't want to plan anything, and then shit had to get canceled, and then y'all be like, oh, man, they canceled it. So That was pushed to 2022, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it, it was a lot of shit going on. So the, the travel thing is one thing. We are going to an island, Jamaica, DR, PR, something like that. 
with uh, the Scary Crew, uh, Scary Squad, excuse me. And we're also doing, we're still planning on doing the link up in Vegas, where we're going to try to either rent out the hotel that, like, it literally just caters to us, or we're just going to find a couple hotels on the Strip, and then we're going to plan out the uh, the weekend from there. <clears throat> We also um, are going to start traveling with the podcast. So um, hopefully we could coincide with my my tour, the villain tour, and we could do that. Ooh, is that what it's called? Yeah. That's fire. Thank you, man. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that. the villain tour is coming 2022, That's and we can do the- Villain the, spelled B-A-L-L-O-O-N. Balloon? <laughs> I don't know. I, just wanted, nah. I was like, "That's a different word, my nigga." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Detroit Public. So School. the uh, the damn internet just scary podcast will probably man. be don't do that to us. the day before um, the shows. The shows will be Friday and Saturday, and we'll probably do the the podcast on Thursday. So if Pat wants to stay for the shows, you can stay for the shows. You might be able to see him on the show, but we will be there for the podcast the Thursday at the the venue that we'll probably be doing the shows that weekend. So that means if you guys want to see that, when you see those tickets go on sale, because the Scare Squad will have first access, we're going to give you access probably two, uh, one or two weeks before we give it to the general public for each city. Uh, you guys have to be on that because we have to show the clubs the – the proof in doing this and that this is gonna this can work. So we're definitely gonna be going on the road with that. So three things to look out for, and then we're definitely gonna try to ramp up the online content as much as possible. But I'm gonna be honest with you, if we're gonna be doing a lot of that shit, it ain't gonna be a whole lot of time for a whole lot of extra shows. So you guys will get the probably the movie matinee, uh, and then uh maybe one of these extra a bonus episodes of Damn It and That's Too Scary just for the scary squad. But we can't kill ourselves this year. I was just doing too mm -hmm. fucking much like the year before and i felt it affecting my energy i felt it affecting mm -hmm. my creativity mm -hmm. but we appreciate you guys those that stuck around with us and we're gonna we're gonna make sure that we we make it worth your while yes, can sir. we get some damn it and that you scary conspiracy trips and we can go see all these that places? would be dope as fuck if we can do all that right. like get y'all ass kidnapped don't fuck around now we go in groups we, we do the buddy system yeah. we do buddies every system. scary movie go in groups that's the whole thing Come on, oh, even, it's a group of the motherfuckers i actually like that a lot like i think a trip like a trip to New Orleans, yeah, would be dope as fuck, and we do like a, a, a graveyard tour or something like that. Like a oh, vlog. in the daytime, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We definitely do it. We got that with, with the cameraman yeah. and other people. That's a good idea. I was watching yeah. that shit yesterday. They, I'm they down. Out here in the, lot, the, the daytime. Buzzfeed and Saul started doing that. that. They started go. going on site. I want to go uh, to maybe a haunted house. You'll come with us. I would definitely come. Go. Lulu's gonna come, guys. I'm gonna be a good ass. I like that shit. If Lulu has been to war, like don't stop letting her bravery. Go star already dead. I'm not cool with that. Lulu got a satchel of souls already. She <laughs> killed niggas over in Desert Storm. <laughs> satchel of souls. Yeah. Oh, Get there. your ass back there. <laughs> like, like Ghostbusters. Yeah, she got no shit out niggas of in the old mayonnaise <laughs> jar. Just, just shaking them up oh, and shit. I'm serious. I would come to all that shit. I love all that. I, I'm a big Supernatural fan. Like, I, I really want to, like, go into that. Where I think... I'm gonna be all right. I'll be all right. I, I, I like it. I like the I'm idea of it. So let's uh That's really cool. let, let's 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 vlog it up. We on site with the conspiracies now. I love it, man. Yeah. Um also big shout out to everybody who's been donating too. We I I've I've, I've been seeing this stuff pop up. We've just been laughing a lot, my bad. But everybody who's been uh uh donating, dropping stuff in the chats, appreciate you guys. Thank I think you hippies so have been, been thanking them too because she's also she's working. Hippie's not only working the stream yard and putting the stuff up, but she's working. also working the YouTube and thanking people let's for the the comp uh their donations. Shout out to Sherry Bowens. I see her up right now. Sherry. And Sherry came out for the uh, More Mob meetup, too, when we were in D.C., man. Yeah. I appreciate you as well. Sherry's hella cool. And okay. she says she's going to drink. Sherry doesn't drink, but when we do the trip, hey. she says she's going to have a drink with uh, it. Big Sherry. Uh-huh. Who's going to babysit? Because you know she's going to get you know? <laughs> She's not, not on one don't drink. We're going to get her something light. We're going to get an Amaranth like out. The, the ghost something of the light. people company. <laughs> <laughs> <Something> <laughs> All right. Last conspiracy. I'll let, you guys, I'll let you guys pick it, okay? We got, uh, we got some fun ones, which would probably be grouped together like Bigfoot and Loch Ness. But we also got uh, MK uh, mind control experiments. We got uh, the hidden mysteries of Antarctica, which is always a, a big one. And we got the hollow earth theory isn't so funny anymore. Well, you picked, because I picked the last one. Well, I feel like we talked about hollow earth theory before. So the fact oh, yes. that you even brought that up means that there's a new development. I'm interested in that. But then also... <laughs> Antarctica, which is attached to Hollow Earth theory in mm -hmm. a way. I never yep. heard about that. Definitely. I want to talk about Antarctica. Should we just do? Should we just yeah. mold we're them not, together? Yeah, those. Because I never look, even heard about that. We're not allowed to go to Antarctica. Antarctica. Did you think about uh, I, Hollow no, Earth? No, you can take a cruise. I never no, 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 heard about to, Hollow Earth. Not to the this like, part. 
this part that like we have like there's like a treaty or some shit like that. Well, I mean, Kyrie Irving. That's, that's the one thing that no one can own. And that's, that's where it yeah. ends. Everybody said that like like the the all the nations agreed that that's the one part of the world that no one can own. But why? Exactly. Let's talk about. it. Let's get into it. Wait, more okay, that. vocals. Oh, you know, you know. <laughs> Shout out to Dion Leg, Dion Lex in the, in the audience too. Hey, Dion. He be lying in the in the chat. We do need a hippie appreciation week. That's gonna come too. Hey, we're gonna, we gonna make that happen. Mm -hmm. Gotta work with somebody in the scary squad. Yeah, because she happen. helped me uh, put together a couple things. I'll, I'll, bring, it. To I'll bring the Jeters. All right. Oh. Well, what you know about Jeters? <laughs> you know about baby Jeters. <laughs> what you know about Jeters? <laughs> I just found that on the way here. <laughs> you got one in the car. I don't even know. Is that a drug? drug? Yeah. That be like. Stupid. Is that a drug? It's a it's a it's a blunt that's dipped in uh <laughs> in bomb bomb fluid? Fluid? No. Oh. I just assume I've never heard a blunt dipped in anything else. I, I, I'll get you one. All right, let's it's do it. I don't I don't want a blunt bro. dipped in anything. It's not dipped in like nothing bro, bad. Bro, I gave you one it's, it's, on the boat. Remember Keith? that blueberry? What was it dipped in? It's Keith? not it's just Keith. It's Keith, oh, right? It's yeah, Keith. Remember that? That's, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Absolutely. I don't whenever somebody says blunt dipped in, I'm like, nope. It's um, like it's, it looked like it just did like this. <laughs> and then they put the <laughs> That's my nigga. All right, so just look at this real quick. This is a map of Antarctica and all the stuff that's around it. So we got Nazis, we got aliens, we got pyramids, we got Stonehenge, we got all this stuff. She will. Um, okay. She's she gonna put it on the screen when, once we start talking about it. Okay, because I'm like, oh, I can't see it. So Antarctica is has is just like a whole farm of conspiracies because a it's unknown. We, you know, people, normal people just can't go. And the people who have gone is very concerning. So bunch of uh, uh, conspiracy theories, UFOs, aliens, Nazi bases, all this kind of stuff. Um, it even says that um, images on Google Earth are kind of wild. Some, some people have thought they've seen pyramids in mm -hmm. over there. Um, Buzz Aldrin, I think, the second dude who was on the moon, mm -hmm. he went there and... He tweeted some wild stuff. Um, after he went there, he said, "Like Wait, he tweeted, yeah." That's I, I thought the same thing. What do you mean he tweet? He tweeted, tweeted like I don't know if it was a he 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 wrote a letter. I thought he he wrote some shit he, basically about that tropical island that he saw. Right? He said no. That and, was somebody else. That was somebody else. You know about that one? That's yeah. the Hollow Earth well, theory. Buzz, about? Okay, so Buzz. Okay, so Buzz, who was the second person on the moon, went there and he said they're there. Like they're not human, some some yeah, wild yeah, stuff, yeah, and then yeah. he had to take it down. Right? <clears throat> there was another guy who flew over the North and South Pole and saw like, like um, tropical island foliage, like green, yeah. like greenery, like that should not be there. And he's basically saying that both poles are air, uh, are ways to get into the Earth. And, that, and the newest right. developments are that you know are we basically don't know what's in our own earth. We don't. Because we, 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 you grow up, you, you think the magma and the crust and all that stuff, but they've since developed, uh, they've since found out that there is an ocean down there that's bigger than all of our oceans combined. And they're not really 100% sure on the, the makeup of inside. And now they think that there are entrances that are con connected to the pyramids. People even think that these pyramids are, if you portals. go in them, not portals, like literal entrances to the into the inside. And there's even religions like um, in Buddhism, uh, that says that there's like uh, like basically advanced species down there that can move around with tech, like trains and all this kind of stuff. And and there's like different layers. And if, one guy even said that the middle of the earth is a sun. I was about to say, for all I was, was going to finish, but, yeah. but the magma at the middle of the earth is the considered core. to be their sun. Yeah. It's their sun though. So like, it's like what we can't even fathom, it's like a flip side. That's why I, I said last time that the fish that we can see could be like the birds of their world. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's man. I'm because you ever forever. seen you ever there's a documentary about the 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 ocean on Netflix, and then if you go deep down into the ocean, there's fish that illuminate, and, mm -hmm. the, and the, there's no light, but they have like something internal, yeah, yeah, and they they glow, and they and I'm like like anglerfish, those yeah. little things. So I'm like, if if that's only what we can see, and it's pitch black, we don't know what's beyond that, mm -hmm. right? What if there's a whole other society beyond that, like Atlantis? Right. Yeah, like, that, that, those are supposed to be real people. That's what I'm saying, like and, Atlanteans, and, and, like people like when we make up things like mermaids, or we make up things, they come from somewhere. It's not you. People are not that creative. To just, exactly. Somebody saw it and was like, "Yo, bro, I saw this woman swimming in the water." Oh, whatever, whatever. But Not then that becomes folklore, and exactly. then that person tells somebody else, and that person tells somebody else, and then somebody's just like, "I'm gonna write a story about exactly. mermaids." But it came from something. You just know? like, just like for one, they had remember mole people. 
where they people that lived inside of the earth mm -hmm. like and then hollow earth is in every damn lord of the rings and all mm -hmm. of this shit it's like we got to get to middle earth hollow earth like well what's crazy is world. we know it's possible that's what's crazy if there's conspiracy theorists that are just wild and like where did this come from that's one thing but if there's examples of other similar things happening like i saw this uh documentary on vice about this one uh about this place that war was so crazy that they just decided to like make tunnels underground and people were literally like living underground and they interviewed this person that's like described it and they said that you couldn't see your hand this far away and they would just play in these lit hallways that were like lit by fire but like one guy that they interviewed didn't really live on the surface until he was like a grown man so like if you if you think about like okay there's humans on the surface that like were able to do that so Okay, so uh, here's here's what is it? Ten things. So wait, wait, uh, eleven can, can, things. Can you explain what Hollow Earth is? Okay, so Hollow. This is more about Antarctica, but Hollow Earth is basically what we were saying. Like, like uh, Earth isn't as dense in the middle as what we thought. There are entrances on both poles, and there's even conspiracies that like the Giza pyramid. There it goes. Crazy. Have you seen uh, Godzilla oh, 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 versus? Have I, you seen Kong, been, Godzilla versus Kong? Anything, have you seen Godzilla versus Kong? Yes. So that's a play on the hollow earth theory, mm -hmm. how he was able to go inside and then he, there was that yeah. other world and he was like, there's giant monsters yeah. and stuff like that. That was literally a play on hollow earth. So basically they're saying that the pyramids, you can basically, I don't know if it's an elevator or whatever yeah. the hell, but you can, there's entrances to all these things and the elite and the Nazis and all these people knew about yeah. it. Yeah. So that's more of the hollow earth side. I've never heard about this shit before. Antarctica is really, really good. Um, I'll, I'll give you a couple of them right now. So shout out to France real quick. France. France San Fonzo. Appreciate you, bro. Hey, thank you, sir. Hey. So number one. No. Okay. The forbidden sector. Okay. No one knows what happens here. Uh, no one knows. Uh, no one uh, who has ever been has ever come back. And if you try to take a peek at the border, you are grabbed by security penguins and taken in. That's an actual conspiracy that somebody made up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> security penguins? Secu security penguins. They don't have no okay. butt, but an emperor penguin is like three and a half feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> like, so they like they were head but your nuts or your stomach. <laughs> oh, they, this way. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he slide on your dick. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. So there's also... There's also um, actual records that the Nazis were going there a lot at the end of World War II. And there is apparently a tunnel at the uh, at one of the edges that leads to a base built into a giant ice cave hundreds of miles inland. So submarines can come and go secretly, but no one would know. Um, there's also a tropical area. It says no one would expect an area of tropical weather and rainforest in Antarctica. So that's exactly why uh, one has been established and kept secret well away from prying eyes. Um, there's also reports of pyramids in Antarctica built by ancient and powerful races and hidden under the ice. Um, one, it says every now and then one pokes out and accidentally, every now and then one pokes out accidentally and then photographs are taken. Um, of what? Of pyramids. Like, wow. like pyramids that like will pop out from underneath the ice. Um, there's also saying that there are, is a land of, uh, of an ancient race of super beings with big angular heads. And angular? Some of them tried to leave many years ago and made it to Easter Island, uh, where they're enormous. Um, and that's basically why there's those heads there. But that basically saying that they, that stemmed from Antarctica, like the people that were in Antarctica looked like that. What kind of heads? What are you talking about? You, have you seen Easter Island? No. You know, those giant yeah. stone heads that no one knows what the hell they're there. They but like there's square. Those... Yeah, and there's like, an emoji. No, no, yeah, yeah it's like, a kind of oh, like, like, like a stone yeah. hinge type yeah, of deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're the faces. Right. The big stone faces. And they're made in the image of what? And we think that motherfuckers was just drawing Charlie Brown way back in the goddamn day. They're saying daylight. that those people were in Ar Antarctica and they dipped and they were basically there. Well, what's creepy about that is that there's been reports that those heads, if, if you bury down, there's like stuff attached, like a body. Under yeah. It, which I mean, anywhere there's water and foliage, it's, it's going to be like living people or beings or something. Right. Something's going to be alive in that area. Now, there's always a little bit of hiding the medicine and the candy. Think about back in the day the first planet of the apes and how they their civilization was built so far on top of us that like the little bit of the um statue of liberty was sticking out yeah. like, you know what i'm saying and it's like well there was a whole ocean around that yeah. there was a whole you know what i'm saying and it's like the idea i think that you need to take away from that is that layers upon layers of you know dust and waste and death and everything that. get built on top of the you know and making our planet bigger and bigger yeah which will make hollow earth make sense because they had to be an origin somewhere think about it this way in a couple hundred years like what we see as uh oh, shit. um yeah so like think of like what's the uh grand canyon mm -hmm. 
a hundreds of years and now the let's say the Grand Canyon gets filled in, people start building Again, on and rather. yeah, and start building on top of that shit. And then, like, like you said, there's a whole other society under that. This shit is mind blowing. Or think about this: they're preparing Alaska because they realize that we fucked over Earth. We fucked over Earth, and that the atmosphere is doomed and Alaska because of its frigid temperatures is going to only Antarctica. going to be the uh, Antarctica okay. is going to be the only place livable because it was originally so cold oh, that it's going to be the only be only place that's going to be inhabitable and so they're already starting to build the rainforest and all that that vegetation in a dome state mm -hmm. so when the temperatures rise everywhere else on the earth mm -hmm. those selected few will be able to go to Antarctica to live out and, and so it, they already have fair. the pyramids for that's like fair like meeting places and dwelling mm -hmm. places and things mm -hmm. of that nature. And they also have underground tunnel systems so that if the air isn't breathable or it's too much radiation or mm -hmm. it's too hot on those certain days, we can still take the tunnel to still get access to where we need to go. And then they going to fool y'all by telling y'all we building a uh, life form on Mars. We're going to go to Mars. No, they're going to try to get people to go to Mars, but they're going to go right down. They're going to shoot y'all niggas up on a firecracker. Be like, yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway. <laughs> Back to what we were saying. Uh... Yo, but get this. There is apparently an alien lake that um, NASA engineers and Russian scientists are trying to drill through. And Where is it at? It's in an Antarctica. This is, all, this is still in Antarctica. Or Organism 46B kind of lake? What's, what's Organism what's 46B? Oh, my God. You know Organism 46B? I don't know. The squid that's underneath Antarctica that... The squid? Y'all don't know about Organism no. 46B? No. Okay, look. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen to this. Now, I, I, I did this deep dive into cephalopods about maybe six years ago, right? Kraken, for example. I have, I have these Kraken hats on my website. I'm, I'm interested in, like, the Kraken, and that's, like, supposed to be, like, like, the biggest squid ever. But this one, they drilled about two miles to an underground lake in Antarctica where they encountered a 14-armed squid that had all of these weapons. Mind you, this is, this is like... Uh, Alive? Some, some pre yeah, it was. No, it fought them, right? But not only did it fight them, it could re-metabolize itself to look like one of them. So they, they were divers. So like they said they were swimming, and then it was a six diver. It Are you sure this dead. isn't a movie? No, 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 no. This is like that's like Alien versus hippie, Predator. Please, yeah. if, if you could know Organism Forty Six B, and so uh, Putin or the the Russians, they took that bitch and they were trying to weaponize it. That sounds like a out, shapeshifter. This motherfucker could make the uh, water around it toxic so that you would be almost like drunk in that water and it could just lure you in. It turned into a diver, a human diver? It turned into a human diver. It has 14 arms. They chopped off one of the arms. One of the arms climbed on the ice and... Um... What's it called? Organism 46B. Yeah, look it up. Look it up. This is real? Yeah. Yeah, everybody turned, said if so I can't diver? my phone, is my phone gonna blow up? But, I don't think but, so. Was an aquatic, uh, thirty foot. I'm sorry, thirty three foot long, fourteen tentacle squid like creature, which lived in Lake Vostok, a subglacial lake located <gasps> under two miles of ice beneath the Vostok Station in Antarctica. The animal had limbs that were animated, that were animate and aggressive, even at the amputation even release the toxin to the water to immobilize its prey from a distance up to 150 feet. Jesus. Displayed an astonishing degree of shape-shifting and showed a considerable degree of both hostility and intelligence. How well, this is that not says, everywhere? It says, this says, first images of creatures from Antarctic de uh, depths revealed. And that's what they're saying is in... Oh, in that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so, imagine this, though. But imagine this. Oh, they said this is it. Is this it? No, that's just a regular squid. Well, I mean, basically what Tahir was saying, since it is sealed off, they're saying that the oxygen of this lake is 10 to 20 times more of anywhere it's, else yeah, on Earth. Yeah. So that's perfect conditions for a super being or super creature to evolve. See? See what I'm saying? You see they put... Everybody talking about it's a hoax. Understand this. You've been programmed to assume that things are hoaxes because they help you sleep at night. Exactly. But, but you need to super follow fun. the assumption that maybe some of these things are not being... um. Well, I mean, think about all the UFO sightings that they passed off as military exercises, and then they came out during the height of 2020 yeah, pandemic. Like, like hey, by the way, all that, all this stuff, we're disclosing it is real. That was yeah. also, and, also they, and they brushed it over too. They was like, oh yeah, UFO is real. Okay, every right, every right. single alien organism in most of the movies that's super aggressive that we always have to face is some type of squid-like cephalopod-style creature. 
uh, huh. Independence Day. Then you got um fucking the Predator. If you look at the nigga, he's a fucking cephalopod. He can make yeah. himself invisible. He has all of this. I mean, like he's a it's, it's octopus What's a cephalopod? Style. It's like, like octopus, octopus and squid, family. like Ooh. those kind of they they can they got change. Camo. Even alien, an alien is kind of like a squid in a sense. That's what, but that's what that's what I'm trying to say though. Like everything has been like we, like. The ones with the big heads are nice. The ones mm -hmm. with the ugly faces, mean faces, are aggressive. Mm -hmm. The ones that are like squid-like are like intelligent beyond what we can think. But then you look at squids, how smart they are. Mm -hmm. you, they you do, do put always have tentacles. In, you put a squid. <laughs> that's true, though. This aliens usually I thought you have saying tentacles. Like, squids are always dumb like nigga. But no, for, yeah, all uh -huh. the aliens and all the yeah. movies. They have tentacles. You know what I'm saying? They have tentacles. They wrapping the tentacles around and making it talk. And it's always about that. And Interesting. That the is cracking. true. Mm -hmm. How they, back in the day they didn't know what to call shit. Poor people, you know, in eighteen sixty <laughs> hundreds, it, it's cracking the ship. It's a cracking, you know what I'm saying? It's like, but it's like this is a big ass squid in yeah. uncharted territories before people became a thing. Before oil and you mm -hmm. know all of this shit was really like a they, they were traveling to these places Damn. for the first time. When well, all right, now we got a boat. Let's go somewhere, nigga. Cracking out there like no, bitch. This is my, my shit. home. Exactly. Damn. So. That's why I was telling earlier, like, everything that's in the movies and we dismiss it like, oh, it's just a movie. No, they're putting it in our faces yeah. to get you desensitized to it. So you're like, oh, I don't want, that's a, just a squid. It ain't gonna do nothing. No, this motherfucker gonna kill you. Or but, they read about it and then wrote about it. Yeah. As inspiration, right. yeah. But Pat, you just, what you just did, though, was a, a perfect example of the way the conditioning works, right? Like, so they find out they study it, and then upon studying it, they damn near like hire a marketing firm to figure out how we're going to roll this out. Mm -hmm. For example, they say, you know, instead of saying that we found an organism uh, 14 years ago, they'll say NASA is studying a lake that has dense oxygen enough to where a super creature could be. Like, why would you even say a super creature could be developed or evolved mm -hmm. in that type if of thing? If you haven't like, seen one. Mm -hmm. Basically, exactly. basically what these are, are underground hyperbaric chambers. Mm -hmm. Like if something gets stuck in there, a cricket gets stuck in that bitch, and this is floating in that Goku juice, and then you know what I'm saying <laughs> for, Goku juice. you know what I'm saying for fucking, you know, and it's like, bro, but they do that, and then they say, oh look, we found one, yeah, and then now we've been like, man, they said it could be a super creature down there, yeah, and now they found, you know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, you gotta pay attention. Pay it attention. is true because like the 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 latest Alien versus Predator is that it sounds like they read that story and made a movie out of it. They go to Antarctica, they drill all the way down, and they go down there with people, and then they find the predator. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Which is, like you said, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. that nigga. <laughs> is it not, is it not also, uh, uh, what's that World of War, what's that war movie that just came out? It was Sam Richardson in it. Oh, I thought you meant World War Z. Oh, no, 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 you're talking too. about, uh, it was new. Um, uh, was it World of War? No, it was because it had Chris Pratt in it. Time War. Or... Uh, War of Tomorrow. Tomorrow War. Tomorrow, tomorrow War. war. Which is great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have to kill this crazy ass thing that was thawed and it in was the ice. Yeah, it was in the ice for and, it, and they had it in all those Because I didn't remember it coming coming up. They don't remember it landed, but it had landed years before. It was right. it got 400 frozen years up. before yeah. them. Yeah. What did I just say, though? And the Eiffel ice caps melting, and then things they Things get out. in these chambers. Why would those chambers not freeze for 1,400 years in that ice? They needed you to see that this is what happens when things could soak in that fucking Goku juice. And that's I, when you when we're talking about the, the 14... <laughs> Tentacled squid. I was like, and we like we never seen anything else like that. What if it, the eggs can't hatch because it's too cold? Mm -hmm. Right. So the eggs preserved. are frozen. Yeah, yeah, they just been frozen, and he's the last one. Yeah. And the rest of them. And can't... climate control now is is dethawing all of that shit. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh yeah. Disease. They, they're, they're diseases in the ice. Like what? Man? What? No. Well, listen. We got to get ready to get up out of here, man. man uh, it's I know, right? I know. This is fucking great. We might have awesome. to just do this once a month, right? Yeah, this is, it's fire. Amazing. Right. Somebody said squid uh, games. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. They put it in your head. Squid, yeah. squid, 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 squid. Well, once a month might be fire with this. This might I'm be the new. Down. Yeah, this is I need to take notes now, and I feel like and somebody <laughs> else was like, I took a lot of notes here today. Like, <laughs> this is informative, yo. man. Wake the fuck up, yo. Shout out to, shout listen, out to Pat and Tahir uh, for having me. Yeah. Hey, thank you guys for guys. coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching, man, this was a very special edition of Conspiracy Theory. We uh, want to thank our guest, Lulu Gonzalez. We want to thank CP. We want to thank Dom. Shout out to Amir, Dom, aka St. Aslitz, for y'all that follow on Twitter. Amir behind the boards, man. We appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming. Shout out to Kevin Smith. Hey, oh, appreciate yeah. you. Hey, Kevin Smith, man. Oh, uh, thanks, you. Kevin Smith. You gonna send hey, that to Kev? my cash, right, Kevin Smith? It's, uh, <laughs> I think it's like ten dollars because MX. Yeah. yeah, that's pound. What is yeah. that? What's MX again? Is that is it pesos? pesos? Yeah, it's pesos. Oh, it's pesos. But we appreciate it still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ten dollars. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Kevin. Something. 
Uh, but man, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Uh, again, we got a lot of stuff coming up. Very exciting for the Scary Squad. If you guys want to be a part of that, you can join it anytime. They've been posting the thing the whole time. I think it's right there as well. Um, and uh, yeah, we look forward to the trips. Looking forward to seeing everybody, meeting everybody. Really look forward to this meetup, man. The meetup is mm-hmm. going to be dope because it's going to be on a smaller scale. It's going to be in Vegas. So we want to do a scary movie night. We want to do a pajama jam. We want to grab some food to eat or just get it catered to us. But we really want to get to know you guys on a closer level. Uh, and just link with y'all, man, because y'all have been fucking dope through the pandemic. Mm-hmm. You've been dope mm-hmm. through this following year. And yep. we look forward to making dope memories with you guys next year as well. Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much for watching. on the road. Mm-hmm. We'll see y'all next Next time on another episode of Conspiracy Theories. Happy Damn Halloween. Damn it, that's you scary. Yeah. Happy Halloween.